Hello there. Welcome back to Westeros. Welcome back to part six of our House Bloomfield series. It's a Monday morning. Well, 1 p.m. actually. <laughs> That's morning for me. It's windy. It's wet. It's raining. But we're back in Westeros. I feel like today, today or tomorrow, could be the final streams of House Bloomfield. We are nearing a natural end, but we got plenty to do before that. Also, the mod updated yesterday. We have some really cool new armor. <clears throat> if you look at this. <clears throat> oh dear. What's happening? How's everyone? <laughs> I'm alive, I promise. We now have dynastic versions of all of the, the regional armors. And they look really, really cool. I mean, the northern armor... Doesn't actually look too different. That one's uh, a bit boring. But all of the others look amazing. I'm liking the Reach one. This one looks cool. And I've also put the Tyrell crown upon my head. Let me just check OBS. Everything okay? Everything's running smoothly. There we go. <laughs> uh, 1 p.m. is morning for me, guys. It takes me a while to, to, to warm up and get the brain functioning. Right, what's going on here? We can negotiate an alliance with Lord Reynard. Uh, but he says no. Lord Valin also wants one. But we're going to say no to him as well. We don't like him. We don't like him. We prefer to serve the Red God. The Lord of Lights, not the Faith of the Seven. Okay, so we still got the Tyrells over here. And they still do have the Lordship of Sunhouse. I'm wondering whether I should fabricate claim here. I think one of our big goals is to just remove the Tyrells from having land. Uh, they do have some subhouses. No living members, though. Uh, and they've got these guys. I wonder, is it only... Okay, no, Lord Gas is also landed. Where's he at? Okay, he's all the way over here. Maybe we don't have to worry about him, though. Uh, but let's go ahead and start the fabrication. We're going to take away the remaining lands. It shouldn't take us too long here. How long's this one? Ten months, because it's a neighboring county. We'll earn that. Hi, fuck. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hi, John. Recheck retracted your message, but I saw you. I saw you. How are you doing? Knight of Arna, welcome, welcome. Uh, Eliha, welcome. Heck yeah, love these a Game of Thrones series. Thank you. They're a lot of fun to play as well. I do enjoy them. Good morning from the States. Morning, John. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Second time lucky, I see. All right, let's go down pause. We've got some new music today as well. Lord Paramount Floris is no longer my master at arms. Why is that? Why is that? Uh, I have no idea. Should we go and get a new master? A master of arms? Um, I, I can't recruit one apparently. Hmm? Interesting. I, I don't know what's happened there. Already confusing things. Confusing things. Right, what was our plan in the last one? I think we reached a natural ending in the last episode, didn't we? We made the kingdom. And now we, we serve as Lord Paramount of the Bloomfield, House Bloomfield. We're doing good. My cousin Lord Quentin looks Balerian up and down, nodding approvingly. It is a mighty fine mare you have here, my lord. If you would allow me to take her for a ride, I would be very grateful. No! She is my horse. No one rides Balerian but me. First time I've ever caught a live, but I always watched them after they're uploaded. Morning, uh, JBD. Morning, Caleb. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> uh, you can't spell. Mate, me too. Me too. <laughs> my, my typing abilities are poor as well. To a handsome Jacob, Melissa Rodden is dear to me. Would you let her go in return for this offer? Yes, I shall. 10 gold, and we will let her go free. Look at that, 36 gold income per month. There, there's not much that can get in our way now, I don't think, especially once we deal with the Tyrells. Hi, Dan, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Greetings, my handsome liege. I've arrived in Highgarden to pay homage to you. Ooh. Lord Franklin, you're the first man to pay homage to me. Welcome. Come in at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Lord Franklin, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Lord Paramountcy. At last, I bid the Lord arise, confirming my satisfaction and Franklin's rights to the lands he rules in my stead. Serve me well, Franklin. Serve me well. Thank you. I don't think he brought me a gift of gold. Won't be able to stay because I'm about to go take a final exam, but I'll watch the rest later. Good luck with the exam, Caleb. I'm sure you were ace it. Do it for House Bloomfield. <laughs> you, you, you'll do it. I believe in you, my friend. Uh, negotiate an alliance. No, get out of here, Valin. Ah, oh, Valin's going to bother with me that. Uh, bother me with that all day again, isn't he? He is. Greetings, my handsome leech. Okay, everyone's coming to pay homage now. Did you bring gold? You did not. But we're going to get plenty of renown, which is nice. So we can max out uh, our trees and whatnot. So we're going to fabricate on this. And I think today we're, we're going to gobble up the rest of the reach. That's what I've got planned today. We will become the true seventh kingdom. Eighth kingdom, sorry. Uh, but then we will wipe out the reach and it will return to seven kingdoms. Another lord has been excommunicated. 
the high sept carrying on their job uh, greetings my handsome liege i've arrived in high garden to pay homage to lord humphrey of house costine let's show him in at once there we go serve me well my vassal serve me well so we're gonna get a, a lot of prestige and stuff now which we can't really spend I'll sign Bloomfield on the answer sheet, also not to add to your laundry list of a Word document, but when you play the veil, I'd love to see a House Royce playthrough. I think House Royce is already on there, but I'll put a little mark next to it. <laughs> uh, it's okay, the, the list is massive. If, if I started recording them now, I'd probably have enough content for five or so years. And there we go, he brought me a gift of gold. Thank you, Lord Griffith of Denflower. Aren't you Osbert's descendant? He is. Lord Griffith. He is also my master at arms. He is my half brother, somehow. And he is also a descendant of the great Osbert, one of the greatest knights our realm has ever seen. One of the first knights of House Bloomfield. Uh, Lord Lucas has come to pay homage as well, brought a small gift of gold. Very nice, very nice. We're going to get even richer now with all these uh, homages that we're receiving. I've gained a favor hook on Sarah Roseheart. Okay. Soulmate resolves courtier debt. Ah, is she spending my money, the wife? It does seem like that, doesn't it? It does seem like it. Okay, what's happening here? We have a hook on her, but we can't really do anything with that. It's a bit useless, but that's fine. It's fine. How's the king doing? King Ronald. He's uh, he's not wearing proper clothes for some reason. Ah, wait, has the update done that to everyone? No, everyone else is wearing proper clothes for the most part. Interesting, interesting. Just him. There was another update. I feel like the more updates we go through, the, the riskier continuing a save does get. Um, but it seems to be okay so far. We've gone through two updates and we, we haven't broke anything. We're out sweating in the yard. Uh, training with Lord Griffith of Denflower. I find my grasp of swordsmanship has improved. My training has paid off. I have become a skilled fighter. We get even more prowess now. So we now have 47 prowess. If we look at the strongest knights, that's got to move us up there, surely. Uh, we're not actually here anymore. Interesting. We, we're all the way down here. How much does Lord Miles have? 59 prowess. Still not as much as my grandfather, right? Eh? My grandfather was a mighty man. Hi, Jacob. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Nice to see you. Stop by. My wife no longer stands Paul Paul's company, so I would trust you to take care of him in my stead. My liege King Ronald holds a brown cat out to me. Paul's is an excellent, an excellent companion. The king has given me a cat. Um, sure. I gained an intrigue and a learning. Thank you, King Ronald. I will look after him. I have only owned dogs before now. In fact, don't I still own a dog? Uh, let's see. I think we... No, we don't. We only have a pet cat. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, my king. I, I appreciate that. Your kindness will not be soon forgotten. Uh, my hook on Lady Lucina's expired. That's fine. To the handsome Jacob, I have proud through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Sunhouse. I think we're gonna wait. Oh, it's part of the Garden Coast anyway. And I think we already have that duchy. Yeah, we do. So there's no point waiting to get the duchy. See it done, maester. See it done. My septon. Excuse me, you dressed the same. <laughs> right, so where are we gonna go after this? Uh, I gained an artifact claim. We're not gonna push that. So we are gonna fight the Tyrells. It should be an easy fight. They don't have many men at arms on their side. And I have many, many, many. In fact, if I raise the lads down here, let's see. Uh, I think I just raise them down here. We should be able to march there straight away. And already we're going to go to war. Uh, I think I put that on the city, didn't I, by accident? There we go. Let's go ahead and put that here. Uh, and before we move on, let's see. What duchies can we take next? Maybe the West March? We could take the West March. How about we try that? Okay. Uh, we'll fabricate a claim over here, and hopefully we get a claim. I think that's the, uh, the, the the Tarlies, isn't it? Yeah, the Tarlies are over here. I must invite them to join my great kingdom. Also, I just noticed... Oh, no, we're in a little bit of civil war. I thought we lost land. Right. Let's get our stewardship perk. I can get... What are we going to get? Administrator, diplomacy, stewardship. I don't think we're going to complete one of these. Why don't we get architect? Building construction cost gets reduced, and we can reduce construction time. That would be nice. Because we are trying to build up the capital. And now, my men, I ask you to raise your swords once more. We have fought the Tarlies many times. The Tyrells, I mean. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. It's time we kick them out of Sunhouse for good. Let us unland the vile Lord Paramount Persian who started this great conflict. 
The great enemy of our house. It's time to go to war. We have a truce. Ignore me, lads. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting too excited. We must wait for the truce to expire. Uh, how long is left of this? Three years. Okay, let's put you on foreign affairs. Hopefully we can shorten that. She's got 21 diplomacy. Um, Bloomfield Hills has finished the construction. Let's upgrade the militia camps. Improve our archers even more. They're already the strongest in the west. But we make them stronger. I'm going to go on this map mode. It's a little bit cooler. Uh, the Reach has civil war as well. Bloomfield is the 10th kingdom in Westeros. The rest is the Crown Lands, Westland Riverland, North the Vale, the Stormlands, the Iron Islands, the Reach and Adore. I I'm, I'm calling it the 8th kingdom because of obviously the title of the 7 kingdoms. I I'm, I'm keeping that way. It might not be technically correct, but I don't care. <laughs> it makes sense to me. You should conquer the south of the Reach. That's what we're doing. Did you not just see the claim pop up saying I fabricated it? <laughs> Come on, Jacob. <laughs> oh, dear. We, we're going to conquer order reach today anyway. The order doesn't matter so much. Um, okay, what are we doing here? 22 diplomacy. Lady Melora has proven herself, so we, we won't replace her. You have very good intrigue and learning. But I don't have a place for you right now. As I make my way to the stable, I am greeted by the happy knees of Valerian. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather, and I could do nothing but agree. We must practice, my dear steed. Well, let's practice. We have an upcoming war. Uh, Lord Medwick. Uh, you're not very good at anything. Uh, and Lord Malagot. Yeah, these guys are useless. They want a place in my council, but they're not good enough. Right, let us hope this. Uh, the truce expires soon. Greetings, my sensible liege. Okay, Lady Patricia of House Foxglove has come to pay homage. Let us show her in. 20 gold. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. High Garden has now constructed the large skeps as well. What can we build here? We could upgrade the cattle pastures and the courier stations. The courier stations are kind of useless if I don't have cavalry. What can I get instead? What can I get instead? Weren't we going to build... I mean, the workshops would be nice. That's a little bit of extra tax. Hmm. But I also did want the, the barracks. Let's get the barracks. We'll increase the damage of our pikemen just a little bit more. I think we, we have pikemen installed here, right? Yes, our pikemen are installed here. How much damage are they doing currently? Let us see. Oh, we can upgrade the armies as well. To make them even bigger. Uh, 45 damage, 60 toughness. Not too bad. Let's upgrade the archers first. Because look at that. Whopping 92 damage. There we go. We're going to max out those. Get some more trebuchets. Off a squire. Greetings, my sensible vassal. It would be an honor if you could personally take me on as your squire. My king. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't be doing with that again. <laughs> I think there's a bug when I squire people. It just doesn't max out the XP bar. I'm sorry, my king. I, I appreciate the cat. And I will always be loyal to you. But I cannot squire you. I cannot squire you. Greetings, my handsome liege. I've arrived in High Garden to pay homage to you. Lord Osbold, the administrator. Welcome. Did you bring me gold? He did. Very nice, very nice. Uh, how close are we to our next perk? Uh, 800, 700. Not that far. Neither Raymond or Sirwin notice as I creep closer to their boisterous hallway conversation. Physical supplication is key. Every groveling and just bruise on my knee is fresh coin in my purse. You just can't go wrong with prostration. Nonsense. Just keep stacking adjectives in front of his title and you'll be rich till you die. If you've got air in your lungs before you get to Lord Paramount, you're doing it wrong. I cough, hushing the mortified to toadies instantly. Um, oh, what is this? Yeah, this is beneath me. I, c I couldn't give a damn what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're dealing in some pettiness. I'm preparing for war. To be enchanting Lord Paramount Jacob, your heavenly laugh is the glittering ocean my heart... No, abandon this. I already have a soulmate. Get out of here. Get out of here. <clears throat> Let me get some water. My throat is uh, very weird today. Ever since I had COVID a few years ago, my, my voice goes very easily. Uh, I thought it would be a short-term thing, but alas, I think I'm stuck with it for life. An odd man has arrived at my court today, looking more like a vagrant than a courtier. The man announces Valley is a hedge wizard and declares he can be of use to me. My guards begin to move to throw the hedge wizard out of my court. Yeah, get him out of there. We have bad, we have bad run-ins with these guys. Also, my gold is leaking now. Is it because we're replenishing these guys? I think so. Right, let's upgrade them a bit more, though. I want to max them out. Um, okay, you're going to pay homage as well. We won't keep reading these. We get some renown. We didn't get no gold, but I'll keep accepting them. Yeah. Hello, all. hello, JBD. Hi, Sibelius. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's a new week. 
Uh, 41 gold. Okay, another couple weeks and we can get those as well. Uh, that requires three pages of thinking. Um, I have no idea what you mean by by 8.25, 5.25 and so on. <laughs> that means nothing to me, um, whatever that means. <laughs> Task has been finished. Ooh. To the handsome Jacob. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Horn Hill. Indeed, I could even argue that you are the rightful lord of the high lordship of the West March. We will do it. All of the West March will be mine. We are in debt now, though. I should have saved a little bit of gold. I, I forgot we were fabricating claims. Okay, so West March, when we take that, I will give it back to Vitalis. Um, because they've served me loyally up until now. Next, we could go for... Should we go for Pale March? That's a nice, sizable duchy that's right next to us as well. Yeah, let's go for Pale March next. If I fabricate a claim here... That should be... That should be okay. Alright, we need to get out of debt. Let's unpause again. Didn't have time to rewatch last stream. We're independent now. We are the great kingdom of House Bloomfield. Is a thing. Um, training fields have been constructed in Bluefield Hills. Okay. Ah, we don't have gold. Okay, construction is going to stop for a moment. Uh, we need to stop that. How long is this truce for? 24th of the 10th moon, 375. Okay. I don't think he's going to shorten the truce, is she? Unfortunately not. Hopefully she does. We'll see. Why is she terrified of me? <laughs> Due to my dreadful reputation, eh? I only have 20 dread. Maybe she's scared. I, I took down a great kingdom. Maybe, maybe. It's one-fifth of the factor theory. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, right, back to House Bloomfield. Um, let's see. So, we're, we're, the plan is we're going to go to war against the, um, the Tyrells again. The host in the Grand Tournament. The timing would be fine right now. But alas, we, won't, we, we can't. We have a truce. Uh, who's this? Lord Argoff of House of Montgomery. Let's show him in at once. He didn't bring any gold, but that's fine. We're, we're making loads of bank. Okay, we could go to war now. Right. Let us go for this war first then, I guess, instead. Um, let's see. Lord Paramount. Guys, we can't do the wars anyway because they're all against the Reach. Ah. Is there any point fabricating claims then? Because there's no way I'm going to be able to push all of these in time. Ah, that's interesting. That is interesting. True. Hmm. Does it show the chance that we'll shorten truce? It doesn't. It's just, it is a possible side effect. But uh, uh, maybe we need a better chancellor. But she served me loyally. But look at this guy. 33 diplomacy. Although he's got lover's pox and he's 84. So he's probably going to die soon. And I can't assign any of the others. You're my Castellan? I could make her my Castellan. Yeah, let us do that. Okay. She's going to become my Castellan. Um, hopefully you can shorten the truce. Uh, and let us see here. What can we do? If we go diplomacy, renown, and council opinion. Let's get more renown. Why not? Let's go for the renown. Uh, and you're going to try and shorten the truces for me. I really need the truces shortened. We're going to lose a little bit of gold because of that, but that's fine. Let us upgrade our, our unique men at arms again. I think we're going to upgrade the, the siege equipment as well. We're spending all the gold now. Alliance has expired. Branston Fossaway died from his internal injuries. We shouldn't need too many alliances now. Surveying the domains is a serious business, especially when the harvest is imminent. Today, while visiting a nearby farm, my master at arms, Griffiths, brings me disturbing news. Throughout my realm, there have been increasing reports of arson not targeting farms or fields, but rather flower beds. Normally, this would not be much of a problem, but in the reach, flower beds do take up a rather lot of space. Uh, let's see what we can do. So we will investigate. We lose 100 gold just like that. And we get burned like... Wow. Minus 2 development per month. Is that everywhere? Oh, crap. Oh, but it's only development growth. It's not raw development. Okay, otherwise that would be a little bit insane. We're back in debt as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, the fires have died down enough for my men and I to look into the situation. It seems that the blaze spread, uh, spread quicker than I had imagined it would. Entire fields have been scrotched to black. What are we going to do about these lands in this state? They'll be impossible to sow new crops. Oh dear. Um, I can't afford the 300 gold. It may be a good time to leverage my station. So by pulling a few favors, you can convince professional land workers to fix this mess for you. 
Um, saving you some gold. I gain burned lands. Uh, no, I lose burned lands. Okay. For my favor. Does that mean some people are going to get hooks on me now? Oh. Uh, hooks on me? No, no one's got hooks on me. Okay. Interesting. But we're out of debt, which is the, the important thing here. Right. I am wandering through the courtyard when I spot a child practicing their swordplay against the air with a start. I recognize it. It's actually my daughter, Lynette. When? My granddaughter. Okay, my granddaughter. That makes more sense. She apparently has seen me as well and immediately bolted over. I never knew swordplay was so fun. I want to be a warrior when I grow up like Vesenia or Nymeria. Ooh. Well, show me what you've learned then, my dear Lynette. She will begin training in swordsmanship. She's going to become a great knight. My counselor has died of old age. Oh, dear. Um, was that my new chancellor as well? <laughs> it was. Oh, the stress. Just He couldn't handle the stress. Right, Lord Franklin, my vassal and friend. You're going to become the new chancellor. I need you to end these truces for me. Um, I sit gesturing to my counselor. They're the same. The most powerful people in the realm are here. I open my mouth to speak. And my cat walks in. Paws hops up on the long table, purring contentedly. He butts his head into my lap, uh, into my hand happily. Raymond, meanwhile, purses his lips in disapproval. Uh, he can stay, he can stay. I like cats. The cat can stay. <coughs> oh dear, guys, the voice is really struggling today. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I can do. I probably need to get back on the honey water. That's what I need to do. Master Andrus brings me exciting news this fine day. Thanks to your aid, my lord. The scorched lands are now workable again, he says. Finally, the farmers can return to their fields. And the small folk sing your praise. So now we can begin seeding. We gain lands were burned for two years. So we still lose a little bit of development growth and prestige. Okay. But I can call men to work the fields again. So is the situation solved? I guess it's solved. But now we have this for a long, long time. Two years, two years. Okay. Uh, the Master of Arms, Lord Griffiths, very hesitantly brings a guest field to me. No, no, no. We're not training these damn soldiers. I've said no like five times now. Five hundred times. Lord Edric for Lightning has been excommunicated. If only I could ask all of these guys to, to join me. The Lordship. No, no, no. Uh, we're not going to claim it. I want the whole duchy. But again, I don't even know even if we can, can push it. Uh, Tenth Moon, 375. Yeah, we're not shorting into truce, are we, either? Ah, the truces are annoying. If only we could push multiple claims, but we are not a diplomat character. I am on my way to the sept one morning when I run into Giles, who is carrying a small bag. Glancing around, he conspiratorially opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. It is such a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic. The seven who are one will still be there later, but who's the but these pomegranate cakes will not. Mm, let us see, let us see. Um, do you know what? it would be a true sin to let this opportunity pass. I don't care for the faith of the seven. And we've made a friend. Lord Giles, my guest and friend. He had great bomby granite cakes. I will remember him for a long time. <laughs> uh, I made the theory by yourself. Okay, interesting. Uh, night improved. Andrew, prowess plus one. Wooden barracks have been constructed. We could upgrade... I want to get more siege equipment though, so let's get siege equipment instead. Ah, this truce is really annoying. These truces, it lasts so long just to take one county and then another five year truce. As Valerian treads out the stable, dragging her legs and hanging her head, there can be no doubt the mare is sick. The stable master assures me that there is a cure to be found for what ails her, but it comes at a hefty price. Ooh. 115 gold, I will pay it. I will pay. I need to start saving some gold reserves again because we keep going into debt, which is not a good thing. Um, what's this? The wilderness is calling out to me. It's been too long since I last hunted out there in the hills of High Garden. There are plenty of sly foxes. One of those would do well on my dinner table tonight. Something is missing though. Are my hunting spears too old and dull, or is it a companion I lack? I should make sure to prepare well. I think. Oh, 115 gold. No, 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 no. Um, what I have is enough. I just need time to prepare. Your next hunt will not cost any gold. Should we organize a hunt then? It, it's free. Oh, wow. The, cha the chase provides thrills and dangers in abundance and serves to provide a firm ground in riding and archery. Hunts are overseen by the master of the hunt who will announce sightings of beasts common, rare and fierce. Let us do this. It's free, so why not? And we can prepare for the, for the war with the Tyrells. We are going to hunt a Tyrell today, lads. 
We are going to hunt a Tyrell. Okay, so this is... Wow, that's plus... That's plus five. Um, that's only plus four. Now, let's see. I think... Oh, that's even better. That's plus six. Okay, we're going to go out to Care Meadow then. Let's see. There's been a hare sighting. We shall go north. It's not that far away. I have a caravan master. I don't have a master of a hunt yet, but we can select one um, after we set off. Let us max it out. It's free. Why not? Five gold for the hunt. That's insane. Uh, and we're going to go and slay the beast myself. It is time to practice. Excuse me. It is time to practice. Right, where's my, my court positions? We need master of the hunt. Oh dear, we, we have so many positions filled out. Uh, let's see, master of the hunt. Do we have anyone good? We have a few men to pick from. Let's go with Lord Wyland. He's a powerful vassal, so maybe he'll like me a bit more. And then let's sun off. Hello, Mr. Oates. Welcome to the stream. How are you? On this fine Monday morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> I'll be hosting a hunt in Care Meadow and the time has come for us to depart. Let us go. Let us hunt some time else. Lordship of Brightwater gained uncooperative guilds for 10 years. Oh, dear. Uh, let us try and fix that. No, it's not there, is it? Oh, dear. Let us look um, up here. Brightwater. It's here, right? Uncooperative guilds. Can we get rid of that? We should be able to. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Okay, let us get rid of that then. Uh, and we'll attend to the control. And now let's get back to the hunt. We haven't been on a hunt yet. It's our first one in this series. Howdy, everyone, and good morning. Morning, Crypto Colton. How are you doing? Nice to see you in the stream. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the woodlands each day for signs of quarry while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. These hares are close. I can feel it. Soon we will hunt them, lads. Soon we will hunt them. Man, I love these events. They're so cool with the animations and stuff. I don't know why they keep swapping positions, though. <laughs> My son. Erin. Older seven who are one. How could you do this to Erin? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? My children are dying. How many children do I have left now? Only Wolfgang and Lucy. Jack and Wolfgang is murdering everyone. Hmm. He doesn't have a good intrigue, though. Really. I don't think so. I don't think it's Lucy because uh, my other children died when she was younger. She is an intrigue character, though, but. Hmm. I don't know what's happening. We are cursed. We are cursed. You like the new armor? Yes. It's a uh, Game of Thrones updated yesterday and they've added new dynastic armors. They look really bloody cool. I like them. Okay. We must continue the hunt though. But my son has died. Another one. <laughs> Hopefully Wolfgang lives now. Uh, Master Brynden assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the woods near Care Meadow. Uh, my men have been gathering sightings of the hare that roam the local area. My many gamekeepers and flushers have been pouring over the area for tracks and fumes. While there is sadly no sign of a buck in the area, there are evidently plenty of hares. Let's see if the rumors were true. Let's get out there. Um, so we can... Ooh. Hmm. Success chance decreases, though. But, uh, come on, a hare is not very impressive. A wolf, though. I want to hunt something with him. Let us hunt a great wolf. That will surely show my prowess and test me. Uh, let's keep this up. 78% success chance. I think we can succeed. My vassal Argoth has crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking uh, geraniums. <laughs> Quenton, my vassal, peers over his shoulder, listening intensely. Lord Paramount, what a bounty of nature. Look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate the simple textures, treasures enough. Lads, we are here to hunt a wolf. Get back on your horses right now. We must stay focused. We cannot be distracted by such such things, such things. Uh, Knights qualify for tournament. Very nice. Just as my vassal master Warren started to dismount, legs still dangling from the saddle, my useless cousin Lord Medwick made sure to bump into his horse, send them tumbling to the ground. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, because I'm callous, Warren has gone red as a beast. Do I like Warren? Where is Warren? I mean, he likes me a little bit. But I am callous. I thought it was friend. I thought it was funny. It's fine. It's just a little joke. It's all good. It's all good. My vassal, Master Warren, signals across the wood. The wolf, whole of wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far off. The beast bolts up on our approach, howling the alarm as they retreat into the dense undergrowth. Fangs snarling. 
We chase after the fleeing silver vermin. Focusing on the largest of the group now begins the real chase. Hmm. Uh, so after we ride, we gain a little stress because we're calm. But I will attempt to corner the wolf myself. Uh, I, we could do this one. Safety, uh, steady, mindful edge. This method is more perilous. A bit more dangerous. Or we can attempt to ambush the wolf. Let's go this one because our chance increases. We will attempt to corner the wolf. Ride after it, men! The wolf is running. It is scared. I wonder if it's someone in your hunting party that murdered your son. Maybe, maybe. Um, oh, he didn't get murdered, though. He, he died of um, injuries. Uh, he was incapable as well, it said, which I didn't know. I paused to quaff from my water skin, savoring some cool relief from the sweat and havoc of the chase. As I secure it at my side, I hear a low whistling noise. An arrow slams into the leaves at my foot, burying itself deeply in the ground. I and those closest spin around, but there was no one there. Only the wind rustling through the dense undergrowth. Um, am I being murdered? That must belong to someone. We can find the owner. Let us try and find the owner. There's no clue. It's a mystery arrow. The gods themselves are trying to kill me. <coughs> right, here we go. After hours of riding, we're finally cornering, cornering the wily beast. Our chase has not been in vain. Whether tired or defiant, the wolf at last holds, turns towards us, and lets out an almighty howl. The huntsmen quickly surround the gr uh, growling animal which glowers at me, its bared fangs frothing and dripping with saliva. I will shoot it myself. We gain some experience with the bow. Uh, complete your my slayer based in time. Okay, or I could do this one. I could bring it down myself. So what's this? I go in with my sword. There's quite a high chance we die, though. I think uh, I would just shoot it myself. Very easily. We have killed the wolf. And now we will kill the Tyrells. I take aim as the party. Keep the exhausted animal in place. Exhale and loose. The arrow strikes true. Straight into the beast's heart. Now that, lads, is how you do it. And just like that, our first hunt has been a success. The Tyrells are going to be running scared. Hunts like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. There is nothing quite like the thrill of bringing down a mighty beast. Do you know what's funny? It says, I cannot wait for next year, even though hunts go on a two-year cooldown. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Master Brynden directs the break it up, carefully skinning the carcass with direction from Game Masters. We place the eager dog's share of the spoils on the stretch tide before departing for camp and home. Um, let's see. I will become the owner of the wild wolf skull. Yeah, I want to keep it. Mount its head. My guests will see its majesty in my grand court. Let us finish the hunt and return home. And maybe we have a place in our, our courtroom for our new trophy. Let's see. There we go. So we've arrived back home. Um, if I go... Where's the royal court? Over here. We we could hang it up here, actually. Then let's hang it up there. No one's going to see it up there, but it is there. And it's going to give us a, a few bonuses. Right. Well, we're in 375 now. Okay, so we need to get to the 10th moon. And then it's war of the Tyrells once more. My vassal, Lord Desmond, has a contact with me that is quite le le lenient. <laughs> Exempting him from many of the obligations I would typically expect from one of my vassals. If I could get him to consent to increased obligations, it would greatly benefit the realm in the long term. So what is your contract, then? I mean, he already has high taxes. That's lenient. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I could give him gold. I can't afford that. Diplomacy challenge. I can become the bully. Hmm. He will accept my alterations or else... We increase his taxes. And we become the bully. Although, have we? Okay. It wasn't a negotiation. It was a demand. I made it clear to Lord Desmond. He continues to hold his titles only because it pleases me. And if he wished to stay on the good side, he would need to make concessions. He hastily agreed. Glad for me to depart without further incident. So we gain some dread. We become a bully. And his taxes are now maxed out completely. Lord Paramount Jacob, the bully of Bloomfield. All of our greatness. We formed a kingdom. We fought against the Tyrells, and the nickname we get is Bully. Ah, I wish we got a cooler nickname, but at least we got one. I've been informed of a garden party being hosted. The fall of spending time with others in a beautiful garden is very tempting. Yeah, sure. Now let's go to a party. By convincing, you mean bullying. Yeah, we convinced him. We convinced him. <laughs> We're not a bully. We're not a bully. As the, the game said, his contract was too lenient. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was already on high uh, feudal taxes, but that's why. Uh, this is how I, exactly how I imagined it. The guests have moved. The guests move about in different groups, discussing various things. Two groups catch my eye. One is discussing the variety of plants in the garden, and the other is a group of playing drinking games. 
Uh, let, let's go to the garden. Why not? We have a chance to become a gardener. Uh, we don't get a claim on the duchy, so let's try again. We'll try again. I can ransom Rosamund Tyrell. If I so desire. Is that your daughter? Um, jo I don't actually know who she is to. She's a distant relative, but I'll, I'll trade her. A little bit of gold there. Very nice, very nice. I don't think we got any of the perks, did we? Lord Waymar has been excommunicated now as well. You should have gotten a nickname like Jacob the Conqueror. We should have. We could have got such a cool nickname, but... Alas, we do not. We are a bully. Keeping the finances of my Roman check is of utmost importance to me. Imagine my surprise when I stumbled upon an odd coin while counting my monies. Oh. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We gain some renown. I like renown. We can max out our dynasty perks. You did bully the Tyrells to create the Kin. No. They called me out. I was not the bully. Lord Persion called me out in front of my court. He called me vile. And before that, he disrespected me many times. I was nothing but loyal to Willis. I even helped Willis, my great-grandfather, in the conquest for Krakow. But Perseon did not honor our standing between our forefathers. And thus, the disrespect, he is the bully. I simply delivered him karma. I will not sit down as he slaps me around. House Bloomfield stands up for themselves. My prisoner has died in a dungeon. Sucks to be them. <laughs> uh, Jacob, every trait Bloomfield. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> um, oh, bloody hell. I ju have you know, I'm struggling to read today for some reason. I don't know why. It's like... um. Sometimes the font feels so small and I just can't read it. Maybe I read faster than I speak. I think that might be the problem. As I wander around my court, I hear the familiar mutterings of courtiers making merry and debating the role. Their role in Lord Paramountcy of Bloomfield. To my surprise, however, I hear my knight Ormond. Where are you, Ormond? My personal champion, my headsman. 29 prowess, a very fine knight. Uh, he is making conversation with Septon Hobb. About the nature of healing and medicine, he seems remarkably familiar with the workings of the human body. And upon noticing my approach, he turns to me and invites me to join the conversation. You do not spend all your days cutting men open without learning a thing or two about the working of the seven who are one's own creation. He says after describing his method of using leeches to purge corruption from the infected wound. It would seem Ormond has been using his expertise in human anatomy to help the locals of Highgarden. And has become a bit of a local healer and midwife. He has also confessed to provide a medical care to the lowlifes in my dungeon. You are wasted as an executioner. Be my physician. That doesn't work out, dogs. The maester's the physician. Hmm. Do you know what? Continue the good work. Osm Ormond Stewart here. My knight gains the nickname the Mother's Mercy. See, that's a cool nickname. Why do they get cool nicknames? I will let him heal the, the people in my dungeon because some of them are just victims of war but I have to keep them there because I can't trust them. I cannot trust them. They may betray me. They may betray secrets. Right, let's get building construction time reduced. Uh, we do have a little bit of gold. Let's save up a bit more though because war is going to be expensive. Is he betrothed to a Targaryen? Who? Who is he? <laughs> me? I'm not. I'm not. Uh, greetings my sensible liege. My entourage and I have just arrived in Highgarden after wearing travel. There are important matters regarding the welfare of Shield Islands that I must discuss with you. Ooh. Uh, fetch him in at once. Welcome to my great hall. My vassal. Hi, Mizrap. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Lord Weston has at last shown into my great hall and wasted no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my leech. I come to you today with an urgent request. I am beset by Lady Rose and her faction to install Lady Rose of Oakenshield on the Shield Island's throne. Please... You must put the impudent whelps in their place for the good of the realm. Lads, do you remember when we were trying to take our land we rightfully had a claim on? And every time my liege tried to put a stop to it and I got annoyed. I'm not going to do it. I think the strongest. If they both have claim to the land, then the strongest shall rule it. For the strongest leader will be able to protect the citizens and I think that is what is best for the realm. I will not fight your battles for you. If you are strong, you must fight for them yourself. That is what it means to be part of the great kingdom of Bloomfield. We are strong, we are not weak. If you cannot defend your people, then you do not deserve to be in control of them. That is my stance. That is my stance. 
But Tyrell, let us see. Um, he is. He is married to the Targaryens now. Bloody hell. <laughs> he has a spy in my court. He definitely has a spy in my court, doesn't he? And that's the, the main branch as well. It's fine. It's fine. It's mostly levies. They won't be able to beat us. They got some dragon guards. Oh, they look cool. Wow, look at the, the artwork for dragon guards. That's really nice. I like that a lot. It's fine. We will still fight them. I am not scared of some Targaryens. I need a JBD House Blackwood playthrough. Please make it happen. House Blackwood. Is House Blackwood um, these guys? Let me just check something. They might be gone now. It's these guys, isn't it? It is. I'll let you know. Last week I was reading up on their lore. So maybe it's on the near horizon. We'll see. Uh, they have some really interesting lore. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I knew enough of it. So I could um, get into the roleplay. But I have been reading into them, which usually means they're on the, they're on the horizon. <laughs> my prisoner Edric has died in my dungeons. Sucks to be you, my friend. Uh, what's this? I can lawfully imprison my vassal Lady Floris. Because she got excommunicated. No, I will pardon her. Yeah, damn it. No, it's fine. This is the kingdom of the excommunicated. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we don't care for the faith of the summer. Right, we might be able to declare war soon, actually. I think like two weeks and we can finally declare war. Candles sputter and sheets rustle as Floris and I intertwine in bed. We try to be quiet, but sometimes the sounds are a little too resonant. The gasps, the sighs, the, the meows. I bolt upright to find Paws sitting quite happily on a pillow next to us, purring contentedly. As I ponder what to do, mouth agape, he begins noisily cleaning a pool. Floris looks at me haughtily. I give the satisfied feline a half-hearted shove. He rolls over on his back, ready to play. <laughs> uh, it would be rude to disturb him, my wife. Come on, we both love the cat. It's fine. Right, how long on this truce? Uh, 12 days. The 24th. And then we go to war with the Tyrells once more. We take away the vile Perseans. Final holding. Uh, Lord... Weston, you just came here. I will accept your gift of gold. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And there we go. The truce has expired. Oh, the music is cool, isn't it? They have a feud with the Brackens. We'll make a great play for it. Yes. And I was reading it. And one cool thing about their history as well is I can kind of change the role play, right? I can either heavily focus the Brackens and then I have a choice whether I want to go north or not again. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure when I'll play them. Um... We'll, we'll see. At the moment, we're playing House Broomfield. Okay. And we're about to fight the Tyrells. Men! I gave you a great speech many years ago. <laughs> it is finally time to take all of that. Seize all your lands. Ah, yeah, but come on. They're not your lands, are they? Ah, seize the High Lordship of High Garden Coast. We don't really need that. It has no cost. Seize the, the Lordship of Sun House. It has a short cost. I can push multiple claims. I thought you could only do that with the diplomacy perk. Is that something new in Game of Thrones? Oh, that must be. Okay, keep fabricating claims then. Wow, if I knew that, I wouldn't have... Um, ah, man. Okay, we learned something new. You can push multiple claims. Very nice. Okay, we're going to take uh, the Tali's land, which we will give back to them when we take it, because they were loyal to us. And we're going to take Perseon's final holding. Lads, we go to war once more. Let's raise the men. We'll raise the entire armies. I will lead them, of course. Of course, I will lead them. Um, let's merge them as well afterwards. I think we had slightly too many men for the supply limit. Yeah, we're over by like 200. Wow. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We should call our allies as well. My sister... Of Yonrud would like to join. We will call her 10,000 men from the east. The Freys from the north would also like to join. Let us invite them. Let us invite Wolfgang. He still only has a small army of 200. But he is ever eager to join me in fights. And then we have Lady Lanessa of Six Hill. She's all the way over here. I will ask her if he wants. she wants to join in the glory of taking down the Tyrells. And now begins another big war. Okay, wait, we need to combine you guys. And then we'll go, we'll go. Blackwoods are the opposite of the Mandalays. Blackwoods are old good followers where the Mandalays are part of the seven. Mandalay fled from the Reach and the Blackwoods fled from the North. Exactly, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's the Divine Rights Innovation. Oh. Let us find that. 
Divine right innovation. What age is this in? Um, it's not in this one. Okay, is it in this age? Divine right. Divine right. Uh, oh, it might be one of these special ones down here as well. Where, where, where's divine right? Have I completely missed it somewhere? It's not all the way back here, is it? Divine right? Am I blind? I, I could be, I could be, I could be. Um. Okay, it's not there. Mangonel's divine right. It's not here. Uh, it's not here. It's not there. Hmm. Where is this divine right you speak of? Am I blind? <laughs> I think I'm blind. I don't see anything called divine right. Billy, guide me. I'm lost. Right, let's raise the men. Let's raise the men. And we'll look for that again afterwards. My dear brother, of course I should join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of Yonwood. Excellent. Join me, my sister. Join me. And there we go. The Freys are going to join me as well. Lord Malagorn has approached me, claiming he has discovered who was behind a failed murder plot against Master Tilbelt. He has offered to provide me of everything he knows, including names and evidence, in exchange for a lump sum of gold. 300 gold. Get out of here. You're trying to scam me. I bet you don't even know. I bet you're lying. I bet you're lying. The Targaryens have joined. Princess Baila, the gracious of the Crownlands. Who are you married to? You're married to an Arryn. What are the Targaryens doing? The bloodline is at risk. They are not marrying Targaryen to Targaryen. That's their choice. That's their choice. Man, I love the Targaryens. They're one of the coolest houses. Right, let us combine the armies. It's supposed to be in the Steel Age. Don't know why it isn't. Oh, okay. Maybe it was renamed. Um, let me merge the armies. But let's go back. I, I want to find it because I'm someone who memorizes with like pictures in my head. So once I see it, um, that's it. Where, where is it usually? Is it a Civic, I imagine? Hmm. Yeah, it's not this. Can you use it as your... Ah, it's Ancestral Claims. There we go. Can press multiple claims for another character in a single war. Right, I'm going to have to remember. Ancestral Claims, Steel Age. Very, very important. I think we already started with that. Let us change the commander. We will lead the men. And we are going straight for the Tyro. 17 days to siege their capital. <laughs> Imagine we capture Percy and then end the war right now. You should marry, uh, marry one then if they don't want to stay pure. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't have anyone to marry off yet. Uh, Lord Griffith of Denflower has finished increased county control. Very nice. Let's pull him on organize army. Actually, train commanders. I don't mind losing a tiny bit of gold. Two gold per month is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Now we gained 67 gold. We're becoming much richer. We're gaining more than we're losing very easily. Let's take this as well. Six days to siege a castle. The Tyrells are scared. They're running with their tails between their legs. Nine days to take this one. The time has come to treat your gout, my lord. Um, not right now. I mean, do no more than what is necessary, but I'm kind of in the middle of a siege. Your timing is not that good. Who's this? It's my allies. Okay, I was scared that the Targaryens were, were quick approaching. Um, there's my son with his 200 men. He's going to be the difference in the war. Commission an artifact. We could commission another artifact. Don't we need a regalia still? I believe we do. There's too many pop-ups. Yeah, we need, we need regalia. Right, let's choose artifact. Oh, it, it even shows me here. Zero owned. We will hold, hire uh, a local artisan. There we go. Let's get that done. And back to the siege. I'm right, the Tyrells have arrived. I say we fight them now. On the open battlefield. Follow me, my friends. We shall crush them once more. They're not even running. They're brave. They're feeling brave. They think they can face me. The might of my armies. Oh, I should have turned on the big battle mod. I, I forgot. It's too bad. It's too bad. Look at that 60 battle advantage. <laughs> the battle of Orchard Shore. The day that we slaughtered the Tyrells. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Brother imprisoned. Oh, dear. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, we lost 1,300 but killed 14,000. Look at this. 100 kills. Lord Bindemir of Bandesai. He's a Baratheon. 
He is a Baratheon. We have very good ties with them, actually, uh, which is nice to see. We captured a prisoner. Wounded a few more of their knights. Uh, I do need a new marshal, though. Gunther, my man, Gunther. 27 marshal. Welcome to the council. Uh, prisoners can be ransomed. Let's ransom off uh, these fellas then. So, are their armies gone? No, they still have 19,000. Let us go this way. Um, can I see where they're retreating to? I can't. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll just keep sieging there. 10 days to siege. <laughs> It's funny because when you start a new save in Game of Thrones, the, the thing that stands out is how damn long everything takes to siege. Uh, and we've just completely bypassed that this time. 50 gold. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, I'll take another 10 gold there as well. We should probably fight them again. But honestly, uh, I don't think they can do anything. As if we just keep sieging. Now look at the, the speed of the siege. It's just absolutely insane. I can pay to ransom my brother. They won't accept because we're at war. Okay. Hopefully he'll get freed afterwards then. Because I, I do want him to return safely. I can hear the knight join. Muttering to himself from across the hall. I need something great. Something epic. To make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses. But what? Just what? When his spirited eyes meet mine, he breaks out into a huge smile and waves to me. My lord. What an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to your commission? I think that sounds lovely. Do you guys remember my family motto? Let's see, a little quiz. Who remembers the words of House Bloomfield? I think I remember them. <laughs> Your son and the most experienced men in the Seven Kingdoms. True. Uh, Your Batman. I... Oh, oh, you're back. Welcome back, Mr. D. I had a playthrough in Vanilla CK3 when I just stole everyone's artifact. That's always fun. I did that last Christmas as a Viking. Instead of giving gifts, I, I took all the gifts. It was quite fun. Maybe I'll do that again as a special Christmas stream this year. Because I did see that there's a Santa Claus outfit mod. What are my house words? Through darkness, the bravest of hearts may bloom. Those are good words. We have already gone through the darkness. We are now going into the light. And bravery sure is blooming in many of our hearts. Let us continue the siege. How long in this one? Two days. And the war is over. The Tyrells cannot do anything. Not even the Targaryens can help them. <laughs> Let us enforce our demands. Oh, the Targaryens had just arrived as well. They're a little bit too late. A little bit late. To the foppish Jacob. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Ah, so every time... Excuse me. Every time I, I take his lands, he's going to... Get a new land somewhere, I think, randomly. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. As long as we keep him weak. Let's disband the men. We also inherited something, it just said. Uh, I'll ransom you. Can I ransom you now? I can ransom you, very nice. Welcome back, brother. Welcome back. Too many held duchies. That's okay. Where are the Tarleys? There we go. Lord Andrick, the peaceful. I will give you back. The Lordship of Westmarch. There we go. The Tarleys ruled the West March for many years, and you will continue to rule them. I have great respect for you. Great respect. In fact, yeah, that settles the, the opinion modifiers. Very nice. Uh, do I still have too many duchies? I don't. I need to get rid of this, though. I don't really care about this. Uh, let's see. We're going to go by Dynasty. Bloomfield. And we go by Relevance. Lionel Bloomfield here. He's not landed yet. I will give it to him, sure. Grand titles. Let us give him uh, this. I also have a hook on him, so I should be able to change his contract as well. Let's increase the taxes. I like money. I like gold. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, we need uh, to shorten this truce. We've got a new court artifact as well. Wild Rohide. Okay, we'll equip that. Get some more, more buffs, more passives. I can transfer you. We'll go ahead and do that as well. And I think we're, we're, we're okay. Westerlands, Dawn, eh, we're not going to declare war against them. We have no quarrel with these guys. Negotiate alliances. My... Um, Lord Mark. My grandson has inherited Ashridge and Nutbank. Okay, I'll negotiate an alliance. I will keep you safe, my grandson. I will keep you safe. Right. Right, are we fabricating claims? We are. We, we also need to wait for this alliance again now, which is 381, but hopefully my chancellor can shorten the truce. We haven't had it trigger a single time yet, 
But I really want it to trigger. I really want it to trigger. Uh, there we go. To the hands of Jacob, I accept your ransom offer. Very good, very good. My brother is now released once more. We got an alliance with my grandson. I can change my brother's contract. Let's put him on normal taxes. He was on reduced taxes for some reason. You guys are not inside my realm, so I don't care about this. We're not going to ally you. That's fine. 500 gold. We got a bit saved up as well. Greek plays, wrong universe. True, true, true. <laughs> Usually I try to change it, but that time I just read it. Every time you say nut bank, I'm just going to take nuts. <laughs> Who remembers the bank which only uses nuts? Was that part one or part two? That was early on, wasn't it, that we named this area nut bank up here. Uh, somewhere over here. Over here. There we go. Uh, what's this? Times when people change, sometimes those who are the closest to us become strangers. Lord Paramount Jacob, I feel like there is no friendship between us. But my cousin, remember all the good times. We took it to the Tyrells. We did not let them beat us around. Oh, I'm so happy that the Tarlies are still a thing. Uh, and they, they quite like me as well. Pay a ransom, 10 gold, I will accept. I will accept. As long as you have to go, I'm happy to, uh, to let them go. Right, let's improve the barracks. That's going to buff our pikemen. What we could also do is probably... Yeah, let's buff our archers some more as well. Not that we need to make them any stronger, but... <laughs> if they could get stronger, then we should make them stronger. Did you not start in the 8282 start? How are you only 59? This is not my first character. This is not my first character. Let us look at the Great Dynasty Tree. We started off as Lord Edgar... He died at the ripe age of 67. Lord Edgar, the Ironside. Bloody hell, the, this bug annoys me. There we go. Uh, he was my grandfather. Unfortunately, my father died mysteriously. We never found out what happened to him. I still think there were murderers in my court or neighbors. So we skipped Jacob. And then we played his son, Jacob. <laughs> uh, who's unfortunately all of his children are dying as well for some reason he only has two children left luckily wolfgang has had some children oh we have children to name by the way guys right uh wolfgang let's see we already named edwin didn't we yes right you guys know the drill first name and education focus for my granddaughter gets to name her and pick her education right let's pin you as well the problem with him being landed is we don't get notifications for this are you going after the arbor next uh, we haven't fabricated on the arbor yet. I'm taking kind of like the north areas. Love your series. Ah, oh, thank you, Prodigy. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. Dooney Marshall. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're going to go Dooney, a much better name. Uh, and we will go Marshall Focus, which means I need to invite her to my court, don't I? Yeah, let's get her into my court. Okay, that was instant. <laughs> uh, we'll go with Marshall. Let's see. Do I have someone good to... You already have a guardian. Your father's educating you. No. I will organize the education. Let us see. Who's the best marshal? Gunther. Educate my granddaughter. Show her the way of the sword. She will be a fine commander one day. I can assure you of that. So we, we're not going to be able to convert to the Lord of Light. But my son is converted to the Lord of Light. So it's all paid off, guys. Our plan paid off. Uh, unfortunately, Ronald here serves the faith of the seven, the, the king. My devotion is used as an example by all from the mighty... Uh, no, my devotion. I, I, no. No. Uh, wow, what is this? Today, Joffrey is ushered in and introduced as representing a small, small bridge faith of the seven sept in Bloomfield Hills. I don't care for the faith of the seven. Oh, superb, Lord Paramount. My friends and I hear of wondrous regalia being made for you and wish to donate to your metalsmith. It will deeply honor us, your majesty. We have saved for months. Okay, actually, if you want to donate gold, yeah, I love the Faith of the Seven. <laughs> um, is that all? <laughs> no. It is I who am honored. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love the Faith of the Seven. They give me donations of gold. Very nice. Gareth Flowers increased, increased his prowess. Very nice. I might have to get some more water. So I might make a honey water, actually. Uh, my master at arms, Gunther very hesitantly brings my guest field to me. No, we are not a nursery. You have asked me for the same people many times now. Right. Rowena, why are you... You are fornicator. You have fornicated. Bess, I must imprison you. I am sorry. I cannot allow it. My antiquarian has died as well. Oh dear. Um, okay, we need a new marshal as well. Andrew... You're going to be my new marshal. Welcome to the council. And I need a new... 
Uh, what was it? Antiquarian. There we go. Uh, oh, we don't have many good people. Nella Flowers. You can be my antiquarian. At least we get some buffs. Uh, I need a guardian for Lynette. She's focused on Marshall. Okay, Andrew, you're going to educate her. Wait, does that mean Junie, your educator's gone now? Yes, okay. Let us sort that. Andrew's going to educate her as well. Um, are these guys okay? Yeah, you have a guardian because I'm your guardian. What about you, Sarah? Sarah, I'm Sarah's guardian. And Nero, his father's educating him. For learning. It's probably not a good idea. Offer guardianship. Someone with good learning. He's not going to accept. And I don't have a hook. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We tried to guide them, guys. We tried to. <laughs> uh, but the AI had other plans. That they did. Does anyone know if this mod has an end date? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Uh, I think Crusader Kings... Oh, no. Crusader Kings does have an end date, doesn't it? That's funny because usually I play with it turned off. Ah. Uh, we didn't get a claim on the duchy. Let's try again. Yeah, I don't think it has an end date. At least I've never reached it. It has been a long day. I stretch my legs out in front of me as I relax at my writing table. My weary bones being rested for the first time today. Across the room from me, Paul saunters along his shelf, exploring the higher reaches of the room. He does so like being up high. My prize scepter is sat on the end of the shelf. Paul is making the beeline right for it. Feline eyes wide with interest. I watch in horror as a paw extends. <laughs> oh no, you don't, you little shit. <laughs> Oh dear, anyone with a cat would know that um, situation very well. I spot my wife Floris chattering excitedly to join listening, listening ideas and suggestions for his regalia. My metalsmith is barely concealing his contempt, clearly annoyed at my spouse's interference. And as you are forging regalia, it may as well match my grandmother's old regalia. Who was your grandmother? Your grandmother, Eleanor Blount. Okay, okay. Um... Hmm. Come, darling. Leave it to the experts. Let us go to the bedroom instead. Right. Pay ransom. I will accept. Thank you very much. My... W w why are they not shortening the truce? You have 25 diplomacy. Shorten the truce. Bloody hell. High garden. Get an upgrade. We'll, we'll leave that for now. Let's save up a little bit of gold. Everything gets very expensive. Yeah, we still have the truce, unfortunately. I mean, we could murder him. <laughs> But we're not very murderous. I mean, I am callous, but I'm just as well. Maybe murder is a bit too far. Uh, okay, what's this? This crime cannot go unpunished to imprison her. Imprison her. Right, let's uh, get this. So many pop-ups. So many pop-ups. Over here, my lord. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An ornate regalia, a set of excellent craftsmanship. It consists of a silver scepter. Set with pieces of zircon, a wool cloak that has been embroidered with silk thread, and a large zircon cabacon necklace. We get powerful vassal council tax contribution. That is nice just by, its, by itself. Let us equip this. It would be nice is if you equip this, you can actually see these items on your character. But I guess you would need another, a lot of 3D models. Uh, maybe it's something they're not interested in. Uh, Gain the trait Reaver. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Lord John of House Hayard. Isn't that Ellard's grandchild? It is. I will show him in at once. The Tales of Ellard and Osbert. That will make a great book one day. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Lord John, who was soon announced and ushered before me. He has brought me a gift of gold. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It is nice that I still have some vassals who respect me. Um, how are you hosting? Are you hosting a grand wedding? Oh, you're only betrothed? Wait, what? She's 32. Ah, because you're getting married now. Oh, he had a grand wedding. Ah. Do you know what sucks? I can't arrange a marriage for my grandchildren. Because they're not in my court. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I, I can find her a spouse. Hmm. Hmm. That's a big age gap. It's a big age gap. I would like it, but it's it's too big of an age gap, isn't it? How did you die? So you married House Plum, then you married into House Baratheon. Okay. <laughs> uh, she died during childbirth. Yeah, I think the age gap is too much. By the time she comes of age, 
Yeah, I, I don't want to put my granddaughter through this. A lot of these men are old though. We have Lord Lauren of the Gold Road. If I can somehow get Nero into my court. He will not join because he's my grandchild's heir. Ah, that's a little frustrating, a little frustrating. Why did he even inherit this? I don't know. Uh, but Lord Wyland of Old Town has come to pay homage. 95 gold. Thank you, my friend. I will use this world to build up the realm. Excommunication. Okay. Uh, can we upgrade? Let, let's upgrade this again. We'll buff the pikemen even more. How much do I need to upgrade this? 380. Okay, okay. And we're not going to go to Grand Tornos. I'm waiting to go to war. Times and people change. Sometimes those who are closest to us seem to become strangers. Lord Paramount Jacob. My cousin Lord Jeffrey smiles sadly. I feel like there is no friendship between us. But remember the good times, my cousin. He just really doesn't want to be friends, does he? As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. Let's send them to High Garden. We get some more development growth. That sounds like a good idea. We're 22 months to increase the development again. Three months left on the fabrication. Okie dokie. Ah, they guys, they're just not shortening the truces, are they? They're not shortening them. Takes a while. Uh, let's show you in. Did you bring gold? No gold. That's fine. It's fine. They're all coming now. <laughs> oh, dear. Absolutely everyone. High Septon is still not bored of excommunicate. We're like on the fourth High Septon now as well. We're not getting a claim on this duchy, are we? We're not getting shortened truces either. We're just getting no luck here. What's the year? 377. 381. Are we even going to live that long? Our health is still fine. Yeah, Paws is not as young as he once was. And as he crawls into my lap, I can feel him trembling. I gently stroke his brown fur and listen to him purr long into the night. But a silence falls. I know that he won't wake again. I will miss you, Paws. I will miss you dearly. You are a king, a gift. A gift from the great King Ronan. And now you have passed away. I must send him a raven at once to tell him of the news. We are now Court Grandeur 9. It's slowly ticked up. Very nice. What do we even get from this? Um, Quite a lot, actually. Monthly Renown is very nice. Oh, wow. Unlocks Bestow Royal Favor. Manage Royal Guards. Okay, okay, okay. We get a lot of buffs here. Uh, where is our court ranking in the world? Only sixth in the world. We want to become first. That I do. Uh, we had an event going on there, didn't we? Lady Melora is at last shown into my great hall and waste no time before walking up to the throne and bowing deeply. Aha, my castellan. Uh, thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. A malady of discontent prevails in my lands. My lord, I am certain a royal visit would change the mood of the people and return them to their proper course. Give me a hook. And I shall help you. She rejected, but she did not want my help that much, did she? Uh, we can upgrade this now. Ah, no, because we're missing technology. Okay, okay. Uh, how much to upgrade this? 475. Right, we can upgrade that because we have the, the, the technology for this one. It's unfortunate. We, we, we just can't go to war at the moment. I mean, what happens if we do? That just doesn't let us because we have a truce. Okay. <laughs> it, it's completely grayed out. There's not much we can do right now other than be patient. I have a feeling when Wolfgang inherits though, things are, are going to get chaotic. What's this? My entourage of I have just arrived in High Garden. Ah, Lord Andric, the peaceful of House Tarly. Welcome to my great hall. Let's show him in at once. Lord Andric is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. A malady of discontent prevails in my lands. Do you know what? Hmm. I will attend. I will attend. For the Tarlies, I will attend. <laughs> uh, I should have went to help my other vassal as well. Gordon has died in my dungeon. He was zero years old. Sucks to be him. I don't know why he was in my dungeon. I think that was one of the pregnant ladies I imprisoned earlier. Oh dear. Terrible, terrible. Right, we can upgrade. No, 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 no. Right, let's pause a second. Everything keeps popping up when I'm bloody trying to do stuff. My counselor has died from his internal injuries. Okay, knight improved. We we need to do spy master. Lord Aegon? Uh, no, Lord Andric. 
I feel like how. <laughs> oh dear, I forgot that the uh, spy masters hold their swords if they have one. Uh, centralization, development, growth in realm capital. Let's get that. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I was about to do something else. What was I going to do? I can pardon Lord Gas because he was excommunicated. Yes. Let's grant him the pardon. And I think I was about to upgrade our barracks. So let's go ahead and do that. And then back to the waiting game. And it, we still haven't got a bloody claim on the duchy. Are you kidding me? It, it can't be that hard, surely. Get us a claim on the duchy, you fool. Ah, useless. Bloody useless. What's this? The latest work of my vassal, Lord John, has become all of the rage at court of late. The peace, peace deals with memory and what will he leave behind. And John has publicly dedicated it to me. Time of memoriam. The mightiest men must leave this earth. And hope of good words, there is no dearth. Tis rare enough for men to admit. But their deeds leave those left after splits. John, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thank you. It's a very nice poem. Very nice poem. It doesn't matter. If you type in, go after the arbor in capital letters, it does not matter. Because we have to go to war the Tyrells. Which we're waiting for the truce. <laughs> it's fine. I had a feeling you accidentally left them on caps lock. <laughs> I do that all the time as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. I, I want all of this as well. It doesn't really matter the order. I think we're just getting unlucky with not getting duchy claims. But even if we were getting duchy claims, we have to wait five years anyway. Uh, it, it's a bit annoying, I won't lie. Like, we have a very good chancellor. Like, how has he not shortened the truce a single time? Not a single time. If he doesn't shorten the truce within five years, I might have to replace him with someone else, someone who better. There was a commotion among the children today. Lynette was attempted to preach among her fellow youngsters and became a target of a small fight. She has become calm. Right, in fact, let us look at everyone. Right, inside diplo diplomatic range. Uh, and I need someone who is unmarried. Where's marriage? The order of things on here change depending on the... Um menu you're in which is uh, a little tedious right unmarried what's the highest you have 33 would you like to join my court marry nella flowers he would i'm gonna invite him we need a bella chancellor there we go he's gonna join right franklin my friend we are friends surely you must understand you're just not doing good enough i must replace you there we go <laughs> hopefully this lad can shorten the truce. They're in the sea. It's going to be expensive as heck. We're going to have to take it one day, though. Uh, my trusted mayor, Balerion, is getting old. Her stride is not as swift as it once were, and the fire in her eyes is fading. If I want to keep her lineage alive, I should find a good match for her. Let's find a strong stallion. Luckily, we have enough gold. My friend Giles is dead. He has died. How did you die? Old age. He died of old age. This is the third generation of Warhorse now that we are breeding. A guild of stonemasons has established itself in the Lordship of High Garden. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. Um, that's... Uh, I don't want to lose 200 gold. I gained peasant labor for 20 years. Oh, we lose taxes. We lose taxes. Minus 25% for 20 years. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm going to go with this one. Because it has this one has two percent chance to spend 375. I will strike a deal with a chief mason. Please don't spend 200 gold. <laughs> Your series made me start my own playthrough. I'm going after the Lannisters who never married into the royal family since the targs are still holding on. Oh, it sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Hopefully, you're having fun. As Robert the Stag was put to the sword after his failed rebellion. I love your steward's glasses. I wish I had the type of fashion. <laughs> we did go to university, we could put them on. It would make us look wiser. I think it would look a bit silly, though. Uh, my beloved Mayor Balerion has passed away. Rest easy, Balerion. Did we have another Did we have another horse? I think so. After a lengthy audience, the Chief Mason would budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. Mm, surely I can find cheaper Masons elsewhere. Okay, we don't lose the gold. Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command. I must muse upon what to call him. Oh, it's the first male stallion we've had. Let's see. A name inspired by history. We have already had God's Grief. We have already had Balerion. Kolos, whose mercy led the Westerlands riches. Can I not give it a custom name? It's just a horse. A name inspired by history. I, don't, I just clicked on that one. Uh, mythology. 
Moonsinger, like the priestess of Jogus Nahai. That sounds really cool. I will call the great stallion Moonsinger. I like that name a lot. I like it a lot. The, mace, the master of arms, Andrew, very hesitantly brings my guest feel to me. No, we are not a nursery. How many times do I have to say I am not making this guy into a commander? Piss off. <laughs> In the politest way possible. Get out of it. Uh, my counselor died. Raymond was my admiral. Okay, let's replace him. Lord Wyland of Old Town, welcome to the council. Serve me well, my powerful vassal. Serve me well. Oh, dear. They, they all want me to train these commanders, which they don't even have a martial education trait. It's, uh, it's such a silly event. It really is a silly event. How's um, Thingy doing? Wrong area. Okay, I was going to say, that's not him. Ronald, that's his name, Ronald. He's doing well. He is betrothed to a martel now. Okay, okay. A little bit of an age gap. Not as bad as if he married my, my granddaughter, though. Everybody's getting old and dying. True. You're probably going to be next. I think my health is still fine. My health is still fine. Do not worry. We have had gout most of our life. But we are healthy. All the fighting has kept me healthy. Uh, Lord Gas the Cunning has come to pay homage. Welcome, my friend. How close are we to a dynasty legacy now? Very. A few more homages. And we should be fine. 11,000 prestige with nothing to spend it on. Oh, dear. So much prestige in this mod. So much prestige in this mod. Are we gonna... Where is the, the fabrication? Over here. Okay. Can we succeed this time? Let's see. Let's slow it down a little bit. Do you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. I, I do not care for this bloody duchy anymore. Can I... Um, Orchard Way. Yeah, that's a, there's a duchy here. Should we go for Golden Grove? We could go for the Old Hills as well, though. Yeah, maybe we go for the old hills. So they're over here. I'm going to try and get this. Um, where's Fabricate Claim? There it is. We're going to try and take this. Oh, dear. We're not having much luck. We're not having much luck with these fabrications. Uh, in other news, we only have two years left on, this, on the, the truce now. <laughs> I wonder if it's because the duchy isn't created. Maybe... No, they have the, the duchy. They have they have um, Orchard Way, look. I think it was just bad luck. Yeah, I think it was just bad luck. Uh, what's this? Offer a squire? I get Davin as a squire? No, 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 no. I'm not personally training knights. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, our level of splendor has increased. We are now reputable. Some children are born with 400 prestige. Marrying into my dynasty gets 300 prestige. And we get plus 25 long reign opinion. Very nice. Uh, is the game froze? No, okay. <laughs> it, it felt like it though for a, for a small while. Um, Grand tournament. No, thank you. My vassal Lord Humphrey has brought forward under my undeniable evidence that Davin was fathered by none other than him. Who would have known? A bastard. For House Costain. By will of the gods, apparently. By will of the gods, it may be then. <laughs> oh, dear. I just want to fight the Tyrells. As I make my way to the stable, I am greeted by the happy nays of Moonsinger. He seems eager to stretch his legs in the beautiful weather, and I can do nothing but agree. We must practice, my stallion. Let us practice together and prepare for the coming wars. My eyes cannot handle the border gore. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Liberty faction? From the Martells? Didn't you just marry into the Martells? I think he did. Uh, to the handsome Jacob, I propose a betrothal between my father... And your granddaughter. My father and your granddaughter. 65. And 14. I cannot do that to my granddaughter. I'm sorry. I respect House Free. But I cannot do that. I can declare war on Dawn. I have a claim on Yonwood. We're not going to do this either. I have no quarrel with Dawn. I have no quarrel with Dawn. When they add Essos, you should play as the Dothraki. Yeah, that's a plan I've had for a very long time now as well. Um, hopefully, bloody hell, the performance issues are already terrible. Um, when they add all of this, I don't know what it's going to do. Let me do something, by the way, guys, now that you're here. So the problem is, if I pause and I move the camera, do you see the, the lag? Do you get lag or is it smooth for you? Because I wonder if it's just a monitor for, thing or whether I do generally get stutters. Because for me, it's stuttering quite badly. 
when I move the camera like this. Which is why I pause a lot, because you don't get the lag when you pause. And it's not a normal Crusader Kings thing, because no other mod or base game ever gets this, no matter how late into the game I go. Uh, today, my grandson Edwin was taught a lesson in vassal management by Ryman. It was quite a complicated course. Necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Edwin's grasp. He has become patient. Yeah, it might be easier to see if I turn up for speed. I'll put it on four times speed. Yeah, like, look at the lag. The stutters. It's insane. The, the stutters are so bad. Uh, but I don't get it in any other mod, so I'm not sure what it is. If I keep the camera still, you don't notice it, no? As the renown of my dynasty grows, familiarity with the glorious Bloomfield sigil spreads too. My banner has been upgraded! As it should be. As it should be. We did not claim the duchy. <laughs> we will try again! We will try again! The grand tournament, my knights are qualifying. You would have accepted it. Ah, uh, the age gap. It's, it's, it's too cruel to my daughter. I cannot let my granddaughter lay with such an old man. The, the thought horrifies me. I will not do that to my granddaughter. I respect her. A healthy rivalry between metalsome fighters is to be expected, but the growing discord between Lionel and Gareth is souring the mood at court. <laughs> uh, I will humble them both. <laughs> no, take their swords, give them training blades. Or may the best knight win. Do you know what? Hmm. Now I give them training swords because they 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 both have extra positions. We are now court grand jaw level ten. We're only fifth in the world, though. Okay, I'm trying to get up there, but we are we do have a mighty court. We do have a mighty court now. But did you guys notice the stuttering or no? Or is it just a thing on my screen? Um, Richard Willows increased his prowess by one. Very nice, very nice. So we're in free AC. We are waiting for. The third moon, 381. We are getting there. Let's pull it on five times speed. Your computer's on microwave, so it lags. I feel like normal Crusader Kings, though, runs very well, even on bad PCs. You can see the stuttering, kind of. Okay, so it's not just me, then. Uh, faction created against King Ronald. Only Liberty factions, though. He's actually had quite a stable ruling, surprisingly. He took over when he was a kid. And I've stolen a keg! <laughs> Sarah has become gregarious. Interesting. Also, Nero has come of age now. He is betrothed to House Okart. Oh my god. And she's possessed. Why would my son marry my grandson off? The Red Warrior. Why does my grandson get a cool nickname and I don't? Ah, oh, excommunicated. Oh dear. Have you had any more children? You haven't. Wolfgang is ruining everything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's ruining everything. What is he doing? My counselor Melora died. Oh, she finally died. Right, let's get a new Castellan in then. Uh, let's see. Any powerful vassals up here? No. Nope. Lord Griffith the Handsome, my brother. You shall become my Castellan once more. Give me taxes. And I'm going to uh, increase the siege equipment. There we go. We're going to siege even faster now. Insane. Uh, my rival... My cousin Garlan finally died. Oh, do you guys remember Garlan? <laughs> he threatened me. And then I took all of his titles. I took all of his titles. Well, I did. You do not threaten me. I need a cool nickname. Circa 380. I've got an RTX and an i7, but Hoy is still on 10 FPS. I, I believe, though, that's because I was looking into Hearts of Iron, right? Um, when you go on to 4 times or 5 times speed, there's actually something in the code that limits your FPS, which is kind of weird. Um, I think it's so it can program, uh, to, uh, not program, calculate the background stuff more quick. Uh, but yeah, when I'm playing Hearts of Iron, I, I pretty much always pause to interact with the UI as well. Um, but Hearts of Iron is also terribly unoptimized for modern day CPUs and stuff I heard. Like, there's only some things, like, uh, all the back-end calculations are run on a single core. Some stuff uses multi-core. For the most part, it's run on a single core, which is why even the most OP CPUs... Still get terrible performance of fight on speed with FPS. Uh, as Moonsinger trudges out of the stable, dragging his legs and hanging his head, there can be no doubt the stallion is sick. Okay, we're in debt. Not for long, though. We must we must heal him. We must heal him. Surprisingly stable rule, he says. I wouldn't mess with a king who had a person like you in their corner either. True, true. <laughs> we scared them all off. But yeah, we, we just can't get the, the duchy claims, can we? Is it not possible as a king? Surely it is. No, it is, because we did it. We did it. Uh, we're just having terrible luck today. Okay, we need a new steward. Master Hafis. Welcome to the council. You are also my acclaimed knight. 
Nice glasses, nice glasses. Uh, my prisoner Griffiths died in my dungeons. Sucks to be him, sucks to be him. Speaking of hoy, how many achievements do I have? Not many, not many. Um, four. <laughs> but then that's coming for someone. I have 850 hours in Crusader Kings 3 and I only have 29 achievements. I'm not really an achievement person. Uh, I just play to have fun, you know. Uh, just disinherit Wolfgang. No, and you can't do that in Game of Thrones. Uh, greetings, my sensible liege. I've arrived in High Garden and pay homage to you. Glorious Lord Paramount. As you know, I do not like to disinherit. I like to respect the natural bloodline of things. If we play as a terrible ruler, we play as a terrible ruler. It's what makes a fun story. We don't need to min-max it. Uh, I wait patiently in my throne for the arrival of Lord Mandon. Welcome. Thank you for the renown. Surely we can get a dynasty perk now? Oh, no, it's this one, isn't it? Ah, we still need like 250, okay. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong level, the wrong level. 10 to 1 says that the moment you die, the kingdom was, will lose their minds. <laughs> yeah, I think Wolfgang is going to do a terrible job of things. <laughs> and to be fair, he's already 40 years old as well. And don't forget, we're going to convert to the Red God. Oh, bloody hell. And he's married his, his heir off to a possessed. And not only that, Okart, they hate us. They hated us at one point. Aren't they these guys up here? Yeah. All of these guys hated us we inv when we invaded their lands. I would not have married to Okart. Never in a million years. You have every single achievement. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what's this? Daria has been devastated ever since her husband... No, 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 no. Put yourself together, Daria. I will not sleep with you. I am loyal to my wife. I'm loyal. I, sp um, do, 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 do. I think I'm cool up on chat. Yes, I am. The time has come to treat your gout, my lord. Do you know more than what is necessary? Excellent work, excellent work. Is our health still fine? We're still feeling fine. Our health is very good. I think we'll at least get one more war off, which is very nice. Uh, collect tax effectiveness. It's kind of useless, actually. Golden obligations. Let's get golden obligations. We might have a... Yeah, look at that. Well, we'll get a little bit more gold. Thank you, my grandson. <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Uh, who's Morald? My vassal. He is part of my dynasty. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Give me everything. Uh, okay, give me more levies as well. I can't do it because we've already changed your contract. Disabled buildings. Ah, I've inherited something. We inherited these two. Okay, then. Hmm. I'm not going to commission any more artifacts. I'm going to save my gold for buildings because they're not good quality artifacts in a way. Let's see. And to be honest, we, we already have so many good stats. Hallerite and Bloomfield. I'm going to give Edgarin. Edgarin, you're going to take these two titles off my hands uh, if I can click on them. There we go. There we go. Look after them. Oh, no. I gave away the wrong castle. <laughs> no! <laughs> Give me back Bloomfield Hills! Ah, oh, fudge. Oh, crap. Um, um, how do I do this? I can't revoke, right? I can't revoke because... I've given it to him with one year. Okay, okay. Let's pin him. I I'm sorry, my friend. I must revoke this. I was not meant to give you Bloomfield Hills. That was a mistake on my part. I am pouring over the ledgers that detail my income from vassals. Those numbers do not add up. The love Lady Elaine has me for four and has been paying too little. Well then, she must pay her due. Another 25 gold. Thank you very much. Thank you. We can station Minotaur. It's fine. We're going to fix this. We're going to fix this. Do not worry. Right. We're going to war soon as well. What month do we go to war? Uh, 29th of the third moon. Okay. Okay. That's not too far away. I can't believe I gave away Blue Themed Hills. Absolute silly. Oh my days, why did I do that? Why, why? I just automatically clicked both and I don't know why. My spy master has come to me grave news, but we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my courtier Nella. Murder is back amongst our ranks. It doesn't look like they're going to succeed though. Uh, demand payment. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to save the hook because I might have to imprison him or something as well. Although we could just revoke the side, so... But I think we can use a hook for that as well. 
Uh, my acquaintance Luther has died. Very nice, very nice. When was this again? Oh, the truce has expired. Right. And it is time to go to war once more, lads. I have zero claims. What? You guys have claims on like nothing as well. Single counties? Tumbleton? Where's Tumbleton? Oh, it's up there. My, my, my Septon has been doing a bloody terrible job, I tell you. Terrible job. I mean, okay, we need to try and fabricate uh, a few more claims. Uh, we're not going to war yet. We're not going to war yet. I have every single achievement in Hoi. Um, I think I already read that, did I not? I think so. I think I'm going back in time. <laughs> right, let's speed things up. We need claims. We're just not getting claims on duchies, and I don't know why. I do not know why. Greetings, my sensible lead, my entourage, and I have arrived. Welcome. Come in at once. Come in at once. Lady Meredith is at last shown into my great hall. I waste no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. I am beset by Lord Imri and his faction to install Yasselaine on the Darstone throne. Please, you must pull an impudent whelps in the place for the good of the realm. No! I will not fight your battles for you. If you are strong, then you shall defend yourself. I think the citizens deserve the strongest leader to look after them. My cousin, Lord Quentin, looks moonsing up. No, no, no. No one rides her but me. Him. Sorry. Him. You will not ride my great stallion. Right, so Wolfgang, you haven't had any more children. I need to keep an eye on Nero now. His wife is pregnant, actually. So we're going to have to name that child when it comes. Uh, my granddaughter can marry... Let's see, Alliance Power, House Vance. No, that's not House Vance, is it? No, it is House Vance. Oh, he's bloody four years old, though. What about Lloyd Roymar? Roymar. House Wainwood in the Vale. Why not? They are very strong. Now let's marry her off to him. Let's send a proposal. Very nice stuff. It's a shame you can't do matrilineal grand weddings. Lord Brindmere, my vassal and knight. Here's House Baratheon. Let's show him in at once. Thank you for paying tribute. Can I convert to your religion? I cannot. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But it's the way things go. It's the way the cookie crumbles. My vassal Lord Weston has accused my vassal Lord Gars of having had an extra marital affair. Guards imprison her. <laughs> uh, demand artifact. No, that's my artifact. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid claims. How long left in this? Five months. Everything just wants to stop us from expanding. We can train for a tournament, though. Let us see. I increased my prowess by one. Very nice. Uh, they've gained court traits. Okay, okay. Neighboring ruler has lost war. Lord Julian has lost against Lord Pole in a liberty war. Ah, the Martells. It's only a liberty war, though. It's a shame most of the wars in Game of Thrones mods seem to be liberty wars eventually. And not much really goes on. Other than, like, an odd rebellion every 50 years. So I wish there was a bit more instability. My master at arms, Andrew, very hesitantly brings my guest to field. No, we are not a nursery. It's the same bloody guy as well. I will not train him to be a commander. He is not good. He is not suited for the role. Um, high garden, we can't upgrade anything. Has it been one year yet? Can I revoke your title? I can. I can. It's an act of tyranny. Well, I must do this. It was an accident. I will revoke the title. He has accepted. But now... Let's see. Why? why? There we go. Now I will give him all right. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, I guess Perwin is going to get all right. There we go. Uh, and we're going to keep Bloomfield Hills. I was never meant to give that away. Did he ruin anything here? I don't think he replaced any buildings. Uh, let's increase the control there. We have control problems now. Of course. Of course we do. We'll go ahead and sort that out. I still see all the good times I have shared with Franklin. Now as I step into a dimly lit room and I see his weak body laying on the bed almost motionless. I know with certainty that those days will not come back. And I feel a pang of deep sadness. He hears me walking in and seems to get agitated so I hurry by his side. It's me, your dear Jacob. I am here, my friend. I will stay by your side, Franklin. 
until the very end. You will not be alone in death. Everyone forgets about the Nimerous part of Nimerous Martell. Yeah, but imagine you say Nimerous Martell all the time. It's not that people forget about it. It's the fact that it becomes tedious if you say Nimerous Martell every single damn time. <laughs> it's a lot of extra syllables when you can just say Martell. <laughs> you know, it's much quicker. Um, I know that's why I say it anyway. Uh, the only problem there, though, is then I confuse them. The Martell, the Tyrell, and the Tullys. I don't know why. And the Tullys. I don't know why I get these four mixed up. But I'm, I'm crap at remembering names. You guys know this by now. Right, let's put our archers back over here. Plus 45 damage. Very nice. That's why I didn't want to lose this. That's a very, very powerful building for us. What, what is happening? It's, not, uh, it's pointless getting a claim over one bloody county, though, isn't it? Well, we're never going to expand. I mean, we're never expanding now anyway. How do I better see this? Right. Where's... Okay, we can claim... That's not bordering me, though. Should we claim this? Golden Grove. The High Lordship of Golden Grove. Wait, where has... Where... House Rowan? Are they gone? One living member. And he became a Septon. He cannot inherit titles. The Great House Rowan is becoming extinct. Oh, wow. They were big allies for us. We must take their lands in their memory. We must. Let us uh, let us lay claim. Okay, if we claim over here, we, we should be able to get this, right? Hmm. Let's see. Fabricate claim. Our claim down here. Hopefully, we can get something. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. My hook on Sarah will soon expire. Uh, we can demand some payments. Let's do those. Uh, those aren't worth much, so I'll, I'll wait on that. Uh, family members can also get married, right? Lucy, my daughter, can get married. Let us see. House Tarly? Yeah, sure, we'll marry her into to House Tarly. There we go. Uh, and my granddaughter, Lynette, can also marry. Again, for some reason. Uh, let's see. I will I'll marry her off to House Swan. He is hideous. <laughs> but they are a very famous house. Very known... Very powerful. Uh, if you keep mixing up those names, you're definitely going to mix up House Flint of Flint's Finger and House Flint of Widow's Watch. That's fine. House Flint is House Flint. Right, greetings, my sensible liege. I gladly accept your patrol proposition. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. I, I just struggle to remember words, which is why when people fix my pronunciation, I appreciate it. But I'll be honest with you, I'm probably going to forget. So... <laughs> And to be fair, I'm not one that really cares for pronunciation that much. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, that's why I like the developers of God Herger, or however you say that mod, because they don't care about pronunciation. Their, their attitude is, say it however you want. It's refreshing. Hey, JBD, what is a good price for a PC? Because I need one soon. Don't know. Uh, you can build a good PC for very cheap. Depends on your budget. A good price for a PC is so subjective. I, I really cannot answer that. I was shocked when I caught my grandson Edwin trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Lady Elena. He blamed a game. Another children had it invented, but I could tell he was lying. He is deceitful. My grandson. Interesting. Uh, Wolfgang, no more children. Nero has had a son. Right, guys, you know what to do. I need a name. I can't rename him. Never mind, guys. Never mind. <laughs> I will pin him <laughs> and one day. Oh, he's called Aegon. That's cool. He's sickly though Yeah, like I would say I'm happy with my PC, but my PC is a budget PC You know the PC I had before this was very good considering I built it five years ago at the time You know it, it played. I mean it even played cyberpunk on launch um, Everyone complained about performance issues, but here I was on a budget PC and I had no problems so um, but like I, I always go for the budget end and I go for the value pieces I will never spend more than a thousand or so on a PC because to me, what's the point? For me, it's just not worth it. I don't play games that will make use of those extra thousands. Uh, for me, I have other hobbies I would rather invest that money into. A budget of 4.5k, 4, 4.5k 4 what? The currency matters a lot. But if I recommend you go to Reddit and go to the build a PC subreddit and ask there. Because there's some very helpful people on there which will help you out and guide you towards either a self-build or a pre-built, whichever you want. But I would go to Reddit. Reddit is uh, sometimes useful. Okay, what are we doing here? We're waiting for claims, that's what we're doing. 
That is what we're doing. For five months, okay. Knight has qualified for a tournament, but it looks like he died in the tournament. <laughs> uh, so that's not happening anymore. We discovered a fascination. We now have windmills. Very nice. Uh, my admiral is dead, though. He died in the tournament. Leonel, you're going to become a new admiral. You're not very good, but that's fine. Dangerous faction. Liberty faction. Hey. We might have war on our hands soon. At least that gives us something to do. Demand payments. Yeah, not enough there. Petition leads. We could petition the king and he could put an end to this faction. In fact, uh, I think I might do that. How long is left? 13 months. I think we can get to King's Landing uh, in 13 months. So let us try that. Petition leads. Uh, dismantle faction. Yes. Let us try. Is the, the path a safe one? The road is a safe one. Okay, let us start. We must go and see King Ronald once more. I have not seen him for many years since we fought side by side. I am well aware that getting out on the road in my condition. Illness is to be considered an additional risk on top of the regular danger that comes with travel. However, even in my unsavory state, the show must go on. Let us head out towards King's Landing. And may the seven who are one watch over our travels. May the Lord of Light watch over us. It is time we set off to King's Landing. We must pull an end to this faction. I do not want to weaken ourselves before we fight the Tyrells, if we ever fight them. <laughs> How am I not dead yet? I, I've had gout all this time as well. We're still feeling fine. Our health is still good. <laughs> uh, we've had gout for so many uh, gout for so many years. Urban sprawl. We oh, I need to change this, don't I? Um, what the hell does urban sprawl give us? Oh no, it's our new focus. Okay, well, we, I want cranes. We are being exposed to it now as well. Let's get cranes. Although actually. Yeah, I still do have that duchy, so it's fine. We can take you away. It is known that the people of Catclaw Town seem to profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. My lord, it is most fortunate for you and I came to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvellous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you are to help me in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. Join me, my friend. Forget about this, this foolishness. I could do with great commanders such as you. In my court, and thus he has joined me. Let us travel to King's Landing together, my friend. My cousin, Lord Quentin, has accused my vassal, Lord Gars, of having had an extramarital affair. Throw her in the dungeon. Let us deal with this. And finally, we have arrived at the Red Keep. I am escorted into King Ronald's throne room, where he beckons for me to approach and address him. I summarize the events which have led to this open treachery of Lady Janeira and her liberty faction. And request their forced surrender by the king. After listening to the speech, he frowns and rebuffs me. I apologize, but for the good of the Iron Throne, I must refuse your request. My king, may I remind you that it is I who put my life on the line. It was my kingdom, my men, my soldiers that risked their lives and won your war. I would appreciate it if you helped out in return. Let us try and convince him once more. King Ronald thinks for a moment, then cries. I require your counsel on this matter. The nobly born High Septon steps forward eagerly, clutching his robe. Yes, a most delicate affair, my lord. Lord Rudman, the king's master at arms, watches quietly from the sidelines. A practical argument might secure his support. Having said that, Gisela has always liked me. Perhaps she would make my case. The king turns back to me, his attention already moving elsewhere. I need to do something. That's not going to work. That might work. That's not going to work. Rodmund, surely you see my point. I was a great commander on the field in the rebellions. Surely. I am owed this respect. He is unconvinced. The king is not coming to our aid. The child. He forgot. I saved his kingdom when he was a child. If it was not for me, he would not be sat on the Iron Throne right now. Alas, he is not like his he is not like his grandfather. Or his great grandfather, Stannis and Andrew. He is not a great man like them. The afternoon is quickly advancing into nightfalls. We enter the local farm estates of Eldersfield. The estate owner, Engred, greets us warmly and promises us to host a lavish feast for us. Um we're not gonna compensate you. You should you should pay me for the honors. How about that? 
in the first update of CK3 there was like gold rarity and weapons and other artifacts and it was like weapons that gave you 20 prowess it was so OP I mean there's stuff like that in Game of Thrones now uh, as the procession rolls through the meadows of New Harvest I spot a peasant walking along the side of the road with no shoes his feet are bloodied and swollen and he clearly must have been walking for a long time not my issue not my issue I'm annoyed I'm bitter because the king has betrayed me is this how he treats his loyal followers? To just discard them and ignore their pleas for aid? Our road takes us through the treacherous parts of Middlebury. While I scan for any dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I brace myself for impact, Elwood jumps out of the bush instead, holding a plant. I'm going to let him eat it. There we go. It reinvigorates him. It was a good plan. We have returned home. We have returned home. Uh, my daughter was plotting to kill Nella. Lucy, did you kill my son? I don't think so. She was a child, right, when that happened. My father, I mean, yes. Hmm. No, she wasn't even born yet. I'm no longer sharing power with... Okay, yeah, the regency has ended. What do we do then? We must wait. We must wait for the faction to fire. It is time for us to put our vassals in our place. Lady Janeiro of Old Town here is not showing me respect. Well, her father's did. She's married to uh, the Mutants as well. Uh, Knights are qualified for a tournament. Very nice, very nice. We have nothing. We must wait now for the rebellion to take place. We will have to fend off ourselves. You waited a bit long to use that leverage. It seems he has grown attached to that throne of his. And that crown seems to have magically appeared there on its own. Yep. Uh, my, my respect for the king is lowered. I am still loyal to the Baratheons. But my respect for the current king has lowered. Pay gold. Oh, sure, of course, of course. I will accept. Task finished. Um, increase control. Okay, very nice, very nice. My friend has died. Let's go back on training the commanders. What does this give? Captive effectiveness? Up to 50%. Hmm. But this increases um, skills for our fighters and gives them prowess. So I'll keep that. Greetings, my sensible liege. I've arrived in Highgarden to pay homage to you. Oh, really? Now you pay homage, are you? Give me 95 gold whilst secretly you're planning a bloody liberty war behind my back. The absolute cheek of it. And you, my septon, are bloody useless. You can't get me a gleam on a, on a, on a duchy. Right, I wonder, is it because... Um, if I go in here, is it because they don't have this duchy here? If I want the duchy, I have to... No, no, no. Okay, no, this is the Duchy of Golden Grove. Right. No, we can't get a claim on Golden Grove. Okay. Maybe that one was bad luck. Maybe that one was bad luck. Let us continue. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. My friend has died again. We have many friends. They're all dying, stressing me out. In fact, I'm almost at my, my stress limit. <laughs> oh, dear. How long on this faction? Six months. And the faction will come. Uh, Lady Dana of House Costain. Welcome. She has brought me a gift of gold. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My granddaughter Sarah seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. She sneaked out early and was not seen for the entire evening. She has become impatient. Alas, that's it is. Right, wait, we need a new maester as well. Let's send a raven to Old Town. How much are they going to charge us this time? It gets more expensive with each one. The maester I sent for from the Citadel has arrived in Highgarden, a baron by the name of Harmond. He is bloody terrible. Oh dear, one star learning. <laughs> oh, he is a very good physician, though. Renowned physician. 17. Do you know what? I'll take it. 225 gold. Oh, I don't know if you're worth 225 gold, lad. But I have no choice. I need a maester. Greetings, my centre lead. But Entourage and I have just arrived in Highgarden. Right. Uh, I will show you in at once. I will not fight your battles for you, though. What I'm going to do is I will allow homage, but I'm going to disallow petitioners. Yes. Very well. I can meditate to reduce stress. Sure. I didn't know we could meditate. Ah, embarking on an inner journey through meditation is no trivial thing. Many preparation... Actually, no, no, no. We can't meditate right now. The faction's about to come for us. Exercise a grand hall. Redecorate part of your palace in the style of another royal court. My court is filled with room after room after room, enough that even some of our more impressive halls go unused through much of the year. With this much architecture, style and decorate, surely we can afford to splash out on something modelled in a radically different style? 
500 gold. What does this do? Um, several likely redecorating candidates present themselves. Those nearest and most noteworthy to me. The realms of Lord Paramount Percy on... Ugh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Lord Julian. And Lady Garena. House Stark. Selecting a style that's considered more renowned than my own court would be personally humbling, but lend me some of the foreign realms heir of grandeur. Conversely, emulating a lesser realm would show magnanimity and build my legend abroad at the cost of some reputation at home. So what do we get here? Uh, I, I don't care about him. So Dawn Architecture is crude but inspiring. So we gain prestige and he gains opinion of me. Sure, let's increase our opinion with Dawn. Does it actually change anything though? Becomes unavailable for 10 years. I, it doesn't change my royal court to anything, does it? I think that's the same it always was. I don't think it physically changes my buildings either. Uh, I'm confused. I think it's just a prestige button. Okay. <laughs> uh, we spent 500 gold for, for nothing. Introduce a new fashion. Yeah, I don't think... Um... Yeah, we don't need any of these. There's no special decisions here. Right, let's go back to preparing two months. And then we go to war, lads. We go to war. Uh, Lord John has written me a poem. The Heritage of a Lord Paramount. What man does not hope to rest when tired? His work surrounding the happy retired. And when their final hour's near, hope shall be. Their name brings cheers. I can see it's truly heartfelt. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Meditate in seclusion. Now, let's turn that off because I, I don't want to meditate. There's a war just around the corner. Right. Unpause. That would help. That would help. They... Oh, they're very powerful. Even the Baratheons are standing up against me. Okay, they're going to send it to any time now. Let's get another stewardship perk, though. Monthly income whilst at war. That's going to be useful. That's going to be very useful, actually. Are they going to send it? There it is. To my liege. It is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Accept the demands of the Liberty Faction. Or face our swords on the battlefield. I will not be threatened. It is time to raise the armies. I will raise everyone. Let us call on our allies. All of our allies should join me. My sister will join me. House Swan will join me. My son. And of course the Freys. Will all join us. Um, oh crap. That's a mess. <laughs> uh, where's High Garden? Up here. Let us raise the men lads. I will raise everyone. I will control the army, of course. We must deal with these rebellious vassals immediately. Let's go ahead and siege this. Uh, the good news is we're going to siege very quick. Greetings, Lord Paramount Jacob of Bloomfield. Of course, that's a join us. Well, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Everyone's going to join us. Look at that beard. The mighty beard of the phrase. It's looking very nice. All right, so everyone's joined us now. We should be able to hold off. They, we outnumber them, but I think I have the men at arms to do this. It's, it's absolutely fine. Why is my army so small now? Didn't we have like 40,000 at one point? Ah, because they all left. Of course they did. They've all bloody left me, haven't they? Okay, so we've captured this. Nice, we got some armor. We got some armor. Where's the... We're going to have to go down to Old Town, aren't we? Yeah, let's try and get down to Old Town. On our way down there, though... We could actually siege a few capitals as well. That probably wouldn't hurt. Um, okay, let's stop the Baratheons first. Let's crush the Baratheons. 16 battle advantage. They got a fair few men at arms, but they're no match for us. How did we do? We lost 100 to 2,000. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Is this all you bring? You think you can rebel against the great Jacob Bloomfield? Oh, you are mistaken. Right, we've got a new Septon. Hopefully, he's a bloody bit more capable than my old one. Uh, how much learning skill does he have? 13. That's not that good. Hopefully, he gets some duchy claims, though. Uh, I want to kind of destroy this army. Let's try and chase them down. If we can destroy the army, then they, they won't be able to siege other stuff whilst we go south to Old Town. Which would be very nice. They think they can siege High Garden. Two years! <laughs> Two years. There's no way you're sieging that. Oh, boy. How did we do on this one? 500 for 2,900. Okay, a little bit worse. A little bit worse. 
Let's go ahead and take out these guys. They think they can siege by capital. He didn't get a claim on the duchy. Oh dear. Okay, I think it's just bad luck at this point. Let us wipe out their armies as well. My court grand draw has decreased. I think because we were under siege. 100 for 4,000. That's much, much more like it. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we've got armies over here. Am I capped out on battle school yet? Not yet. We can fight them a few more times. Now let's keep on fighting them. We will end this rebellion very easily. 7,000 men. Where's Old Town? They are coming from the south. Okay, our allies are not even here yet, but I don't think we need them. Um, it's nice to have them just in case. In fact, this might be a tough fight here. 16 battle advantage. The Battle of Sackwood. <laughs> the High Towers just abandoned all of their allies. <laughs> They're not going to be happy with them. They're not going to be happy with them. How do we do on this one? 600 for nearly 5,000. Very nice. But I do need a new Chancellor now. Uh, you've got 24 diplomacy. Sure. And you're my friend. Let's go for the, the High Towers now. 40% from battles won. Where are they going? They're going to go fight my allies. Interesting. How many men at arms do you have? Uh, 3,000 bowmen? That's more than me, but I think we can beat them. Let us see. Our knight Hendry was slain by Osmond. We lost a knight. He was also my marshal. Lord Griffith. I must replace you. Let's reassign you over here. Uh, let's see. Mm, do we have anyone else to take over here? My cousin, maybe? Um, I'm just going to go with the most powerful. Let's make you my Castellan. There we go. Oh, bloody hell, you're my steward. Okay. Um, you're going to be my steward. <laughs> uh, there we go. You're going to become my Castellan. Right, let's sort that out. The Battle of Millfield is in full swing. Which is in full swing. You're always there for me, and I hope you know that I am grateful. My grandson Edwin approached me in a rare moment of contemplation. Ah! That is what it means to be a guardian, my grandson. Thank you, thank you. Got into a bit of a fight today. Oh dear, Jaeger. So, uh, hopefully, nothing bad happened. Hopefully, you're both okay. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. <laughs> my grandson Edwin has been asking me for a rolling hoop for a long time, and I told him I would get him one in three months if he displayed a little more focus in his studies. He's 13. I mean, he's content, though. He's content. Right, we've defeated the High Towers. The high towers are defeated. How many did we lose? 2,700 for 7,000. That was a, a brutal fight. I lost one of my champions as well. Let's see. 50% uh, battle score. Yes, it's capped to 50%. So there's no point fighting these guys now. I, mean, I guess we could do some sieging. Let's try and siege this down. I think we're going to end up fighting them anyway because they're, they're in the way. Malagorn, an internet bard popular with the common folk, has arrived at my court. A local landowner encouraged him to seek me out so that he might perform for myself and my household. Prior to the performance, he came to ask me what sort of music would be most pleasing to my ears. Um, not right now. I'm in war. I'm in war. The timing of these events is forever dreadful. Forever dreadful. The Battle of Orchard Lakes. Look at this. So many green. So many green men-at-arms. I think the, the Rebellion is going to be won quite easily. Successor for Knight of the Bloom. Okay. The Dooney needs a Guardian. You're focused on Marshall. Let's have Uragon teach you. And we already have a successor. Okay, that's good as well. Right, let's go ahead and siege this down. 73% war score. I think the Rebellion is won. Five days to siege. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, do we need to siege Old Town? Probably not. We'll go ahead and siege these. They're closer. They've risen another army, though. Oh, I missed a castle. Ah. Okay, I'll go back and deal with that. Okay, we've won the war. I could demand a hostage. They're not going to accept for some reason. For some reason. But let us end the rebellion. Greetings, my liege. Your ruthlessness is enviable. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. Let us disband the armies. And now we must deal with all of the traitors that thought they could rise against me. Where are they? Let's deal with the High Towers first. I cannot revoke her title. Let us modify the contract then. Oh, come on. 
What the hell? Okay, you're exempt from taxes, I guess. But I need to modify your contract. Uh, and now I'm going to revoke your titles. I shall take Old Town from you. No longer will it belong to the High Towers. We become rivals, but I do not care. Can I take more titles? It's going to be tyranny. Okay, then. In that case, I banish you from the realm. I'm going to take your gold. And you shall lose all of your titles. Right, Lord Mace of House Middlebury. Let's go ahead and do the same to him. I cannot revoke his titles. But I can banish him. Why don't we banish him? Um... Oh man, if we were, if the problem is if we modify all these contracts, I mean normal levies is fine. Let's do this, okay? We'll we'll do this, uh, and then we can revoke his titles. We can only revoke one though. Let's see. I'm gonna take garden bounds because it looks bigger. Let's take this one. Very nice. Can I revoke more? I cannot. I cannot. So I must banish him as well. You must join the Night's Watch, my friend. That's what rebellion is. <sighs> Bloody hell, they all have bloody title revocation protection. Right, let's modify this, and then we can revoke her titles as well. There we go, she only has one. We're very nice, very nice. We're going to gain a crap ton of rivals. Do you have gold as well? She does. Then I will banish you. She will not accept banishment. Uh, will you accept banishment? You're already considering a proposal. I think I already banished him. The Baratheons! Lord Brindamir, the Storm Lord. He also rebelled against me. I will take Mand aside from him. And I shall send him. Can I... I can negotiate release here. I will send him to the wall. He will join the Night's Watch. Lord Gars of House Sawyer. You also betrayed me. And for that, you will lose. The Lordship of Strong Spirits. Um... Let's take... Let's play... Take Daresbury instead. It's on the coast. It's next to Old Town. We'll revoke this title. Very nice. And then we will banish him. He will also go to the Night's Watch. Lord Moraud. My own dynasty member. The greatest of betrayals. I'm just here to say hi. Hope to see you soon. Well, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, let us see. Revoke titles. Whitewater Watch. Will no longer be yours. We become rivals, but I do not care. You betrayed me. And now you must join the Night's Watch. He will not accept. So you will stay in my dungeon. So be it. So be it. Okay, we dealt with you. Uh, we have Lady Evelyn of Island View. Bloody hell. Let's take that away. Very nice. She becomes my rival. I'm going to banish her as well. <laughs> okay, she's not going to accept. Right, then you can stay in my prison. Lord Trigger. Can't take your, your title. Okay, let's lower the levies. And then we shall revoke your titles. You will lose everything you control. And you two shall join the Night's Watch. They're, none of them are accepting. Why not? Because he's an outsider. Okay, okay. Uh, no idea why. Uh, Lord John. Son of the Great Ellard. John. I'm almost willing... To forgive you. The Ellard bloodline is great. I tell you what, John. I will do you a favor. If you join the Night's Watch and let your son Erlon take your lands, we will do this peacefully. What do you say? He will join the Night's Watch. Therefore, I will send him off. And Erlon will gain your lands. Let's pin him just in case. Just in case it doesn't go to him. Uh, we need to give Laurel Ridge to his son. I do want to keep the lineage of Elard alive. You are the one man that I respect out of all these traitors. Well, let's see. Can I revoke your title? I can. Your title is gone. And you shall be banished from the realm as well. <laughs> there we go. Okay, one more. One more. Uh, Master Engred. Let us... Uh, we can't revoke your title. You're not my direct vassal. Okay, you're staying in the dungeon. No, 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 no. We're sending you to the Night's Watch. Be gone, you fool. Be gone. Okay, we we will deal with all of those after. Let's just let these pop-ups uh, do their thing at the moment. Wild Hide has low durability. Okay, let's repair that. 
And now we must wait for all the pop-ups to play through. You're also helping the realm by sending the Night Watch more men to defend the wall against the wildlife. Exactly! I do like banishing to the Night Watch. Forgive but never forget exactly. The mighty Elard, one of the original great champions of our realm. I do want to keep their, their, his bloodline alive, but he must join the Night Watch himself. Right, uh, okay, you're gone and banished. It's a shame we can't send them to the Night Watch. Engred is gone. Gas is gone. I think we have a few more. Pay Ransom. Uh, no, no, no. Let's wait for everything else to play out first. Surely there was more. Yes, yes. There we go. Okay, Middlebury is gone. John. Thank you, my friend. I do not forgive you. But I will show mercy and I will not hold it against your son. Who has actually inherited your lands. There we go. Uh, he, your son doesn't like me, but... He will learn one day that I have shown him mercy and I have shown you mercy. I could have had you killed. Well, instead I let you go to the Night's Watch. I think I am... I think I am merciful. Right, we have a lot of bloody land to give away now, guys. Um, 100 gold for this guy. No. He betrayed me. Morald. You're gonna suffer, my friend. I'm gonna torture you. <laughs> That's what you get for not joining the Night's Watch. Right, we have a bloody lot of land to give away here. And I don't think we have many dynasty members. I think we should keep the High Tower. Because I want to convert that to the, the Red God. Um, we're going to keep Breakwater Keep. We're going to keep Bloomfield because they're historical. We're going to keep High Garden. And so then we want to keep one more. I think we'll just keep Castle Grenon for now. Uh, and give everything else away. Actually, no. I have skirmishes here. Yeah, but I'd rather keep this than this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we need to give this away. Do we ha even have any dynasty members? We don't even have any dynasty members. Right. So if I find, like, some of all skills... Hmm. No, 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 no. Okay. We need to find knights. Lord Quentin, you already landed. What about Gareth? Gareth, would you like to become... A noble? You are a bastard! Of House Roseheart. Four living members, eh? Are any of them landed? They are not. Gareth, I would let you make a name for your great house. I will give you Whitewater Watch. Please protect it. Can you hold any more lands? Uh, you're already holding two. Okay, I've already given you more than you deserve. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to fix my council positions after as well. Okay, Meet Port needs a ruler. Let's see. Uh, no, we're not doing this. We're finding knights, aren't we? Yes, we are. Lionel is a claimed knight. Let's go by... Hmm. Richard. I'm going to give you land as well. House Willows. Only one living member. I will give you chance to make a great house. You can hold two titles. So what I might also do then is give you... Let's see. Let's see. Uh, click off of this a second. I'm not going to give you anything else. Okay. Uh, Castle Floris. Let's see. Let's see. Should we give it to more knights? Lionel, you are very strong. Very strong. House Uffering has 23 living members. There are a few landed uh, members as well. I'm going to give you your own land. How about that? I'm going to give you... Ah, oh, bloody hell, I can't see. Bleak Host, yes. I've lost him. <laughs> bloody hell, there's too many menus. Right, right, right. Let's close this. Okay. Uh, grand title... Grand title. Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it now. Down here. Uh, I think it was here, right? Golden Gem Bleak. Bleakos. Yes, right. Let's give you those. You're maxed out on your titles as well. For the rest, we're probably going to go some of all skills. Otherwise, we're going to take uh, ages. I need a new Admiral. We'll look for one of those in a minute. Okay. Castle Floris needs to be given away to someone. Let's see. Some of all skills. Laurent. He's not my knight. He doesn't serve me. Hmm. What about Gramian? He's my knight. Very diplomatic character. I shall shall give him uh, this. I should give him Castle Flores. There we go. Let's not give everything away. Not like last time. Not a mistake. Oh, my back hurts, guys. I need to get a new chair, really. Oh, I need to fix my posture. That's what I need to do. Okay, so this is all organized. Uh, we need to give away this stuff. Right, let's give away Claymore Amanda-sized. I think at this point, we'll go some of our skills. Let us see. Laurent, I will give you, uh, you Mander side. Yes. 
And you are Max Douse now. Okay, very nice, very nice. We're going to keep Castle Grunham. Castle Middlebury needs a ruler. Let's go some of our skills again. Lord Gerald. You shall gain control of your own land too. Okie dokie. Where's the other lands that we own? Down here or something, right? We need to give away Black Mare. It's a shame we don't have enough dynasty members to give it to. They all died. Alekine! Once a peasant leader, I shall give you your own land. Enjoy it. Become my vassal. Uh, Echo Hill. Um, okay, okay. We'll, we'll give that away as well. We're going to run out of people. Damien, you were also a peasant leader once. I will give you your own land. Okay, we're, we now have five holdings, right? Yeah, we're all sorted. Okay, we're organized. Right. <laughs> Now we need to organize the bloody council. We don't have a good admiral. Oh, 29. We do. You're going to become my admiral. From a peasant leader to serving on the, the council of a Lord Paramount. What, a, what an arc. What an arc. Prisoners can be ransomed. Hmm. Uh, I need to station my light footman now as well. Uh, 3.5. Yeah, let's put them up here. Very nice, very nice. Don't we have a unique building down in the high tower as well? Can we read it? We do! The high tower of Old Town rests upon an ancient black stone fortress on Battle Isle, already given its ample protection. The tower itself is several hundred feet tall, with each level having its own walls and turrets, and upon the top is a great beacon welcoming all to its harbor. Fort level plus eight. We get more taxes and development growth. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we now control the high tower. That will can be converted to the red god when the time comes. We have a lot of gold as well. Um, when one can twist words for pleasure as well as myself, twisting them for harm is a simple matter. T taking out the long volume of poetry from my arm, I unfurl it, letting the scroll hit the floor and roll gently backwards out of the door. No, no, I, I have information. Brian has intimate relations with other men. I will tell you everything. <laughs> I am not done with you quite yet. Morald. I will torture you. That is what you get for betraying me. He has become melancholic. Serves him right. My master at arms, Lord Griffiths, has been showing off a promising new recruit. Very well. He can serve me. One day he might become a knight. Uh, let's see. Pay a ransom. No. He betrayed me. He betrayed me. In fact, I wonder, I wonder, can I execute all of these who once betrayed me? I think all of these uh, are vassals that betrayed me, right? I have no idea. Imprisoned for six months. Imprisoned for seven months. You are lowborn though. Eight months. I think you guys are just from the fighting. 35 days. Oh no, 35 days. Oh yeah, but four months would be earlier on. What if I were to press this? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, crap. Okay. What if I just press this? He is a known criminal. He revolted against me. It is time to do some public executions. We will execute all of the traitors, including my own family. I will behead him. We just tortured him. Oh, dynastic Kingslayer. Okay, you're going to stay in the dungeons. Why are you in house arrest? Move him to the dungeons. He does not deserve to be in house arrest. Lady Evelyn! You rose against me as well. Therefore, you must be educate. Uh, you must be executed. All of these traitors. Okay, uh, I can't execute you. Okay, these guys were just uh, part of the war, right? Let's leave them, then. Let's leave them. We have survived. Um, can demand payments. Let's see, 20 gold. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I do have too many held duchies now as well. So I could give away the High Lordship of Old Town, actually. Let's grant that to... We'll just do Wilbur. He's the most relevant. Oh, I can give him the High Lordship. Oh, I have to give him Old Town itself. Ah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Damn it. I want to keep Brightwater, though. And I want to keep High Guard. Maybe we have to give away Old Town. Let us see. Let us see. So the high towers are no more. Should we give it to a great house? You know what? Where are the Tarlies? They served me. Very loyally. You do have a brother. Pierce Tarly. 
Can I grant him titles? Will of the Tarlies claim ownership of Old Town? I think I'll do it. I think they deserve a reward. Pierce, you are now the Lord of the High Tower. Welcome. Serve me loyally. Uh, I need a new admiral now. Okay, let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's see. We need unmarried females. My courtier. Uh, my daughter can marry again. Oh, she's betrothed. Okay. My granddaughter, my courtier. Right, let's marry her off. Hopefully, we can get someone with good stewardship. Fairly free. Very nice. Let's send that proposal off. There we go. Create a new great house. It's fine, Vitaly. We're already a great house. We've already created a great house. To the handsome Jacob, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. It's not like Osbert and Ellard. They deserved it. I can't think of anyone that would deserve this. So I'm going to give it to Tarlies. Because the Tarlies have been very loyal to my cause. So I think that giving them Old Town, I'm happy with that. All right, let's show you in at once. Thank you very much. Um, has the marriage been accepted yet? Yes, it has. 33 stewardship. Welcome to the council, my friend. Welcome. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of High Garden, my granddaughter Sarah runs up to me. Master Jacob, we just started swinging at one another. She's interrupted by a high pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from a court circling each other in preparation for another tussle. Nah! Let's place a bet. <laughs> we won the bet. Bloody hell, we have a lot of gold now. Um, okay, High Garden. We can upgrade a lot. Let's upgrade the Apries. There we go. More gold. And we got a Dynasty Legacy. Supply capacity, plus 40%. Levy reinforcement rate, plus 20%. And we get plus 20 popular to opinion. Order of the Green Hand. Uh, heavy, heavy Cavalry Toughness. Okay, okay. We're almost maxed out our Dynasty Legacy perk, which is nice. Uh, Bloomfield Hills can get an upgrade. In fact, we have another building slot. I wonder... Windmills would be nice. Tax and development growth. Let's build some windmills. I do like windmills. A big fan of windmills. Uh, successor, Shield of High Garden. Okay, that's going nicely. Are we still fabricating claims? We are. Okay, a claim on a duchy would be nice. Any time now, any time now. Right, we got court artifacts. That we do. That we do. Okay, so... I guess... What's this given us? Prestige, court grandeur. Uh, at least we get some tax contribution. Knight effectiveness is nice. Let's get knight effectiveness. And... I think we're going to go for tax contribution. No, that's something else. Where's the bloody... Where's the third one hanging then? Where's the third one hanging? Um, Displaying three out of threes. No, no. Oh my days, this is tedious. Why can I not just see all of the slots? Can I not... Is there not an easier way to do this? Uh, is it hanging up here or something? I, uh, oh, it's over here. Okay, okay. I see it now. I see it now. I'm blind. I'm blind. Right. What was the one that I wanted? So we've got this. We've got this. And then... Court Grandeur Bonus. Glory Hound Vassal. They're both the same. Let's go for this. And then I guess we're... Gonna destroy the others. We could destroy this one. Bit of gold. We could destroy this one. Um, we could destroy this one. And then we'll repair this. And I think we have some... Okay, now everything else is already equipped. Right. Right. I wish there was a, a UI like this for court artifacts, really. Uh, we got some new armor. Prowess plus five, prowess plus four. Wolfgang, you already have armor, don't you? Uh, no, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna give you the armor then. Uh, there we go. Prize armor. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, my son. May it serve you well. Have you had any more children? You have not. What about Nero? He's had one son. He was still sickly. Oh dear, oh dear. I can demand payment from my vassal. Let's not do that. We're not gonna ransom these guys either. Right, back we go. We are continuing the story. Let's go five times speed. We're waiting for fabrications. My Sarah! My ward, Sarah, has come of age. My granddaughter is a, a very bad education. It's fine. Betrothal fulfilled. It's all good. It's all good. But how long on fabrication? We Have we even got one fabrication today? At the very beginning, we got two, didn't we? 
But we're not having much luck with, with this at all. Yeah, there is a possible claim on Duchy. It's a shame we can't replace the Scepter neither. It's auto-assigned. Which is unfortunate. Finally! He's learned to do his bloody job. Greetings, Lord Paramount Jacob of Bloomfield. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the Lordship of Weathermere. Indeed, I could even argue you are the rightful lord of the High Lordship of Golden Grove. Golden Grove. Yes, all of Golden Grove will be mine. Let us pause and slow down a bit. Uh, how is my health doing at this point? We're 67. The health is still fine. While in the market, I come upon a vendor who claims to be selling seeds off from far away land. Nah, that's a scam. We don't care. Right, so what other... I don't want to go to war yet. I want more duchies. I want more duchies. Uh, we don't have any duchies neighboring us, though. I mean, we have this duchy. And we have this duchy. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, we can try it. Let us try it. It's only 10 months. We still have life left in us. Let us claim this. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, should be fine. Let me just double check something. Yeah, he didn't control this. Okay. We can get a chance to fabricate for Duchy here. Well, wait. Let's do one or two triggers and then we'll do the war. Because we have to wait for so long for peace anyway. Um, it would be nice. There we go. Let's go on this map view. Have the Reach expanded? I feel like they have. It would be nice to get more land. Go for the Arbor next. Uh, now, we're going for stuff here because it's easier to reach. I know you like the Arbor, but it's... Well, we're going for this, look. It's all close together. It's on our border. And this is where most of the land is, anyway. Greetings, my sensible liege. We'll, we'll pick up these scraps at the end. Uh, I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty. Thank you. 65 gold. I appreciate it. Betrothed can marry my granddaughter when I'll get married off. Very nice. Excellent stuff. Mm, 12 months. Okay, let's zoom in and we can keep an eye on this. We go speed 5. Please get a duchy, my friend. Please get a duchy. All of a sudden, Septon Runesford and my courtier Harmon barge into the throne room, bickering. Wine offends the seven who are one. It must be avoided, screeches Runesford. A bill of wine is healthy the body, replies Harmon. What is my position on wine? I think a little helps keep the humus balanced. I can raise, you can raise your Septon to nobility to get a new one. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't want to make him noble for roleplay. He does not deserve nobility. We could game it like that, but... No, we're all about the story. That wouldn't feel right. But it's good to know. We're not going to do that, though. Uh, my counselor has died. We got a new Septon. Is this man any better? 21 learning. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Serve me well, Albert. Serve me well. Okay, Lady Lucy, my daughter, is going to marry into the Tarleys. Let's send that off. I forgot about that marriage, actually. Uh, very nice. There we go. We're going to marry into the Tarleys. We are rewarding them with greatness. It feels crazy that we're now more respected than the Tarleys, actually. My grandson Edwin came to me complaining about Azelia bullying him. He has been hiding all over the castle to avoid facing the other children. Oh, bloody hell. Edwin's a craven, just like his bloody father. Wolfgang. Uh, I thought I was raising good children, but apparently not. Right, uh, Sarah, I can unpin you now, can't I? Yes, I can. And we're building stuff here, so that's all fine. Do I have any upgrades in the men at arm department? Yeah, we can get more pikemen. So let's go ahead and splash on those a little bit. There we go, we're maxed those out. In fact, we can max out our skirmishes as well. <laughs> it's bloody brilliant. Lord Andrick, Tarly has come to pay homage. Thank you very much. When my god, I brought the joyous news. I could scarce believe it. My rival Maraud has finally perished in my dungeon. Dungeon. <laughs> he bled out after a lengthy torture session. Serves you right. You shall not betray me again, for now you are dead. Sucks to be you. Oh, dear. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Try again. One more try. One more try, and then we'll go to war. Because uh, with the amount we're trying and the way the five-year truce will wear off, probably. How good is my Chancellor? Yeah, not once have we even got shortened truce. Can it even trigger? I don't know. You have no idea. Buy heavy cavalry. With time, my friend. With time. With time. I want to max out my current army first. 
As Moonsinger trudges out the stable, dragging his legs and hanging his head, there can be no doubt the stallion is sick. The stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails him, but it comes at a hefty price. Let's see. Oh, we must heal the horse. Let us heal the horse. We've finished building stuff in High Garden as well. You cannot be. Become my master at arms. How good are you? Oh, bloody hell. Eleven Marshall. How does she even get a hook on me? I don't even remember. I don't remember. 69 years old. Our health is poor and alien. Okay, after this fabrication, we will go to war and at least take, um, ah, what's it called? Golden something? Golden Grove back. Our long allies from many years ago have now, they've gone extinct. Their dynasty is gone. We will take their lands and honor them. Uh, the time has come to treat your gout. I'd recommend drastic measures, but the choice is yours, my lord. No, do no more. Do no more than what is necessary. Do not risk it. Are you trying to kill me? Feels like it. Uh, Lord Richard. Welcome, welcome. Very nice, very nice. I think I have one final war in me, lads. One final war before my bomb before my body gives way. What sword do I have? I have Skull Cleaver. I won it in the siege. When we are fighting the Westerlands with Lord Willis. We have a new stewardship perk, very nice. Men at arms, eh, we don't care about them. Uh, oh, men at arms, yes. Maintenance per dread. Do I have dread? I have a little bit, right? 41. Okay, that's more than a little bit. Do you know what? Yeah, let's get fearful troops. Reduce our maintenance a little bit. Earn more gold. Very nice. Lord Valin, why are you still alive? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, dear. I'm surprised he's still alive, actually. He must be getting on a bit as well. Right. Please give me a claim on the duchy. Never mind. We will go to war anyway. I can demand payment from Lord Simon. Let's do that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, lads. The Reach have no allies. All they have is 100 summer nights. <laughs> Lord Aelon. Aemon. I am sorry. Uh, where, what happened uh, to, to Perseon? Perseon. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. When did he die? Um, he died from his wounds. And then you inherited. And then you won by a faction. Okay, so now this is the main line of Willis. The unfaithful. I see, I see, I see. But nevertheless, the Tyrells have already insulted us too much. We will declare war. I will take my claims of Golden Grove. That's a nice chunk of territory, actually. Splits their lands even more. We shouldn't need any allies. In fact, I might fight them alone to prove my worth here. Um, we'll go straight to the capital as well, I think. Let us raise the men. I will lead them myself. Should we call on them, actually? Do you know what? I'm going to call on them. If they want to, uh, to prove themselves in battle and share in my glory, then I will invite them. How swan, it's the first time they're coming to my aid. And there we go. My son, Wolfgang, he looks much more badass now that he has some armor on, I must say. Much more badass. His stats have kind of been, gotten okay over the years, but he's nearly 50 years old. It's took him, took him a while, right? For two weeks, and the men are raised. We go once more! My lads, I ask you, follow me into one final war against the Tyrells. My body will hold out. I am not done yet with this world. I am not done yet. My luck is terrible. My luck is great. We started as a small count, and we are now a Lord Paramount. My luck is great. Actually, it's not luck. It's hard work. And diligence. You could try getting a bunch of counties at a time. Billy, we've been trying to do that. <laughs> you trust me, we've been trying to do that. <laughs> Greetings, Lord Power Jacob Bluefield. Of course I should join you in this war. Excellent stuff. If you uh Yeah. I, I know you haven't been here, but trust me. Trust me. We've been trying. <laughs> it's been the most bloody tedious thing in the last week or so of playing Crusader Kings. We ju we're just not getting claims on duchies. Greetings, my Centipole Liege. I've arrived in High Garden to pay homage to you. Very well. But I'm, I'm trying to go to, to war here. Okay? Do not for a moment. Now, we're, we're allowed the petitioners. It's free renown and whatnot. It is free renown. We're going to take a lot of attrition. In fact, why don't we just siege a few on the way there? We siege so damn fast anyway that it's absolutely fine. We built some windmills. Very nice. Very nice. How long are we going to take Sweden? Fort level 5, I think. 7 days. Let's see. 12 days, okay, okay. A little worse than I thought. I thought we sieged faster than this. But nevertheless, still very fast. 
We are still very fast at CJ. Uh, a glass, a glass orb. Very nice. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll destroy that after the war. This war should be very easy. Yeah, five days for this one. Something's bugged out there. It's on fire. Um, <laughs> no idea what happened there. We sieged it so fast, we, we bugged out the visuals. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. This is what a Blitzkrieg looks like. Oh, the Tyrells are in the north. Okay. I'm going to your capital, whether you like it or not. Oh, come on. Why do I take attrition for this? What? Do I have to take this first? We'll take this first. I mean, we have so many men. Attrition really doesn't matter, but... We're, we're doing it. We're taking over. Edwin has come of age. He is a charismatic negotiator with only five diplomacy. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Bloody amazing! All right, five days left on this siege. I might go and fight them. We should face them on the battlefield. We are not cowards. We are certainly not cowards. The river crossing doesn't matter because we can cross rivers without penalties as well. The Battle of Hall Castle is underway. The great Lord Paramount Jacob versus Loras, a nobody. Not even the Tyrells lead their own armies. Cowards! Absolute cowards they are. Look at that. We are crushing them. Oh, too easy. We lost 500 and killed 17,000. <laughs> oh, lads, dare I say the war is won. The war is most certainly won. Too easy. <laughs> Healing water is low durability. Ah, destroy it. I don't care. That's not my artifact anyway. Let us continue. We'll go this way. Oh, my allies have arrived as well. I've already won the war, but... Come join in my glory. Let us siege a, free, a few easy castles. Why not? Free gold. Free loot for everyone. And there we go. We've won the war. 27 gold. Yeah, we're just ending the war here. And just like that, Golden Grove shall become mine. Let us wait for him to approve the surrender. It's coming in any second now. There we go. To the contemptuous Jacob. May your humus rot in your living body. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demand. So be it. So be it. Right. So we're, we're all good here. Very nice. Very nice. Too many held duchies, though. We need to give away Golden Grove. Okay. Who should we give it to? Um, hmm... Man, it's such a shame that Golden Grove became extinct. It really is. Ah, it's so unfortunate. I really wish uh, they survived. I really wish they did. Hmm. Who deserves it? You like me a little bit. I'll tell you what. I will give you the High Lordship of Golden Grove. There we go. Enjoy your new title, my friend. You are young, but you will learn. Uh, let's transfer some vassals over. Let's get this sorted out. Okay, how long on the fabrication? Four months. Please give me a bloody claim on the duchy. <laughs> I never expected I would grow as close to Lord Lawrence as I have done in the past three years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man. Um, okay, we've become friends. Very nice. We will become friends. There we go. Nice glasses as well. So we got a horseshoe. Let's destroy that. We'll destroy the glass orb as well. I don't really care for these. That's fine. We, we, we want the gold. We want the gold. Uh, and now we'll upgrade the barracks again. Let us improve the prowess of our pikemen. We are, we're pretty strong at this point. I don't think <laughs> anyone can stop us, actually. Unless like, all the kingdoms came together, we're pretty strong. Uh, let's see. Lord Laurent has come to pay homage. Let's show him in at once. Very nice. Very nicely done. We are 70 years of age now. Our health is poor. And ailing. You would pay an answer, a ransom 10 gold. Thank you very much. My friend Franklin died. Oh dear. He was my, my chancellor as well. Gramian. Shorten the truce my lad. Shorten the truce. Although it would be kind of useless anyway. Because we're not getting claims on duchies for some reason. My, my septons are just bloody terrible at their jobs. Where were we even fabricating? Did I fabricate? I thought I was fabricating up here. Ah, I am. There we go. There it is. I lost it. Pay ransom. Um, sure, I'll accept the ransoms. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Earning plenty of gold. Let us speed things up. Hopefully we get a claim on the duchy. Bloody hell. Uh, they're, they're all fly flying in now. Right, I'll accept all of these. Yes, yes, yes. 
There we go. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> We're becoming rich. I can demand payment from my daughter as well. Who has become landed. Did we get it? Finally. To the handsome Jacob. I have proud three documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of New Barrel. Indeed, I could even argue you were the rightful lord of the lordship of Orchard Way. Yes. All of the Orchard Way will be mine. Okay, okay. Where are we going to claim next? So that's that one done. Uh, we have more duchies up here now, don't we? Why are House Eastermont up here? No idea. Do you still have your ancestral lands as well? I imagine that's you, right? Yes, you do. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, House Eastermont are now in the reach. Interesting. We could claim their lands. There we go. Or we can claim Krakow. I mean, we're going to want both anyway. So let's fabricate up here. Um, when does the truce expire? 391. 11th moon. Five years away. That's a long time. We might not even live that long. Rename your crown because the name of the crown is Ben's crown for some reason. Rename my crown. My artifact. Ben's crown. Yeah, why is it called that? That is very weird. Um, okay. Uh, artifact details. We'll rename this. To the crown. Caps lock. Crown of Bloomfield. Oh my god, I can't type. There we go. Not a very original name, but that's fine. We'll, we'll keep that. And of course, I am wearing the Tali crown on my character model. Which is much cooler. Much, much, much cooler. It sucks when the AI doesn't uh, do matrilineal marriage, even if they go extinct. Nah, it's fine. It's part of the fun. It's part of the story. It's dynamic. I also uh, don't do matrilineal in Game of Thrones. Otherwise, it um, makes it a bit unfair. And it's more of the roleplay not to do it, I feel like. My master at arms, Lady Meredith, has been showing off a promising new recruit. Very well. He can serve me. He has a little bit of prowess. In fact, he instantly becomes my knight. 22 knights, eh? 252% effectiveness as well. Very nice. You want to ransom him? Very well. As long as you pay me my due gold. I will I will ransom him to you. Who's this on the coast? Wait, wait, wait. Stop. I've paused the game. What are you doing? <laughs> um, house, wait, where are you going then? Because you're all the way down here in the deserts, aren't you? Somewhere around here. Um, bloody hell. Somewhere around here? Ah, oh, yeah, you're down here. I remember you from my, my Dane playthrough. Slowly, uh, I'm starting to recognize all the houses. Right, let's go back to this. We're going to get another duchy claim, lads. And then straight after that, we're going to get another duchy claim. And then another. And we're going to sweep them. I'm not dead yet. I'm still very much alive. Oh, my health is fine again. 70. Bloody hell. Are we going to live forever? Maybe. My vassal Lord Titus looks Moonsinger up and down, nodding. No! I may have given you a duchy, but you are not riding my great stallion. He is mine. The only one who rides him is me. Lord Mandon has gained a trait wounded. Okay, uh, 25 gold. Yep, I will accept the ransoms. The gold is flowing in. As is the prestige. As is the prestige. Another ransom. <laughs> I accept. Of course I accept. Right, please, give me a claim on the duchy. And shorten the bloody truce as well. We haven't had a single shortened truce yet, which is a little annoying. Okay, we didn't get a claim on the duchy. Try again. Let's do this. A lol is happening. My brother died of old age. Luckily, he had a son, Lord John of Denflower. He's going to control his lands in his stead. I don't think anything else popped up for during that time. Uh, we got a ransom. We do have a ransom. I can demand payment from Lord Walton. Let us do this. So we're at the stage of a game now where it's kind of just waiting. I feel like most of the, the core story stuff has happened. Because we're loyal to the Baratheons and we have no core with the Lannisters or Dawn. So really, our last enemy is, is the Tyrells. And once that's done, I, I think that's a natural conclusion to the story. Greetings, my sensible leads. I've arrived in High Garden to pay homage to you. Welcome in, welcome in. Because it makes no sense to take the, the crown. We're loyal to the Baratheons. And you, you don't have to become the bloody emperor every single playthrough. Uh, it's okay not to, to rise to absolute power. Already we have much, much power in Game of Thrones terms. So yeah, we're, we're just waiting patiently now for the claims. My Septon's doing a terrible job though. Where was I going? Why did I come here? I could have sworn I was looking for, 
For something. Was it urgent? I had to get back to someone. Quickly, next week, yes. I think so. Ah, there it is. That's what I wanted. I needed that for... For... Oh, what was I thinking about? What was I thinking about? Why is my master at arms so bad? Because they got a hook. And blackmailed their way onto my council. Nothing I can do about it, sadly. Um, am I going to become incapable? I haven't had an incapable ruler for a long time. You are third in line to inherit the Lordship of Sandhorn. <laughs> Speaking of um, uh, House Corgoyle, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Somehow we're in line to inherit. My friend Harris has died. We're all getting old now. We are all old men. But I think definitely I have lived up to the expectations of my grandfather. I have carried on his legacy well. Lord Damien has come to pay homage. 15 gold. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the reach has many a fine market and none as grand as my own. While visiting the local stores today, I noticed a caravan of foreign traders has set up shop. Let us establish a trade route for our future wars. Uh, also, we can now build again. Mm, Joe, I'm going to upgrade the barracks again. Keep upgrading the barracks. <laughs> uh, it's where all my money's going. Right, we're halfway to fabrication. Why is... Uh, well, an ass... Yes. Unfortunately, when you become a king, a Lord Paramount hooks. Everyone gets hooks on you. As I make my way to a stable, I'm greeted by the happy knees of Moonsinger. He seems eager to stretch his legs in the beautiful weather. And I could do nothing but agree. No, we must train. Let us practice. We are both getting old now, my great stallion. We must lot not let our senses slip. Because there will be more war. There will be more war. Uh, Lord Hobber, welcome, welcome. Thank you. When was the truce again? 391. We still have a little bit of time. Hopefully I live that long. Health is still fine. That's the important thing. I want one more war. I know I said that last war, but I want one more war. <laughs> I thirst for it. I thirst for it. How's my prowess? 39. We're losing prowess because of old age. To the handsome Jacob. No. I want the duchy, my friend. Give me the duchy. Wait, 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 wait. Are you... Ah, I thought you were from House Eastermont. I was going to say. He, he's fabricating in his own family. Maybe that's why he's not giving us the duchy claim. Could be. Could well be. <laughs> but alas, it was not. Okay, how are we doing? 27 living members. The family is great. My children are having children. The ones that are actually left. Excommunicated. The High Sept are still up to their shenanigans. Nothing changes there. Uh, vassal tax contribution. Sure. More gold. Will make me happy. Realm will lose land if Lord Simon dies. Oh, bloody hell. Why is that? Why is that? Why would it lose land? Oh, because you're part of the reach. Oh, dear. Well, we'll, we'll take that eventually. It's fine. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. We're losing odd counties here and there, but it's okay. I'm almost out of water. Tiny, tiny bit left. <gasps> The wife. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible, yet here I am. My heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Floris, my pet. Life will not be the same without you. She died of old age. My soulmates. At least the memories remain. I have become widowed. I don't think I can marry again. Where is it? I don't think it shows here. But I have become widowed. Which means I'm not allowed to remarry. And we have lost our alliance with the phrase. Can I... Can I... Re-get that alliance? I cannot... Negotiate an alliance here. Maybe we can arrange a marriage. Maybe we can arrange a marriage. My granddaughter is 14. Your son is 9. Already betrothed. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. What about your son? Walter Frey. I arrange a marriage with my granddaughter, Dooney. They are similar age. They would accept. Let us send a proposal. I don't know if that resulted in an alliance or not. I didn't read. <laughs> my dear Floris Rivers shuffled off this mortal coil. What would I give for just one more day with her? My halls feel empty and yet I must tarry in this place. Perhaps the sadness would dull with time. My dear wife, my soulmate. Lord Garmin, a sharp point has accused my cousin, Lord Quentin, of hadn't had an extramarital affair. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit busy, lads. I'm mourning at the moment. I am mourning. 
Yeah, we are widowed, so we can't remarry. To the sensible Jake, I accept your betrothal proposition. Nice. Okay, it didn't result in an alliance, but one day when he takes over the, the towers, it will result in an alliance, so that's fine. It will come one day. Uh, how are we doing over here? 79 progress. Right, let's speed that up a little bit. We gained a rival. Lord Crispian. Doesn't like us. That's fine. We'll crush him as well if he ever rebels. They should be spots enough to know not to rebel now. With memory, take shapes. One man does not hope to rest when tired. No matter his wealth and treasure acquired. And hope only for memory's grace. That's where history finds. True place. Thank you. I can see that is truly heartfelt, my friend. I thank you very much. Okay, we got about two years before we can go to war. 15 prowess. Sure, you can become a knight. Very nice. Um, More extramarital affairs. Arrest them all. Negotiate an alliance. My nephew. I accept. I respected your father very much. We fought together many times. I even had to free him a few times from prison. Cost me a lot of gold, he did, your father. Well, it was worth it. Yeah, we're not getting duchy claims. <laughs> Still one of the strongest uh, at 71. What a ruler, yes. 39 prowess at 72 years of age is insane. And he's still feeling fine. He is a great man, a great man. Hopefully we, we get this bloody duchy claim, though. I would like to do one more war. In fact, we do have one duchy claim, so at least we can fight for this duchy. Yeah, that's Yonwood. We're not pushing that one. At least we can uh, fight for the Fossaway duchy. Uh, which is all good. Okay, we built something in High Garden. Can I build some more? We can upgrade the cattle pastures if we want. Yeah, sure, why not? We have the gold. Let's spend it to upgrade the buildings. We could get more men at arms, but spend gold to get more gold. Actually, we're making 36 gold a month again. <laughs> we can get some men at arms. I'll save up like one to two thousand, and then we're we'll investing a new uh, unit type. My councillor has died of old age. Now let's get a new steward. Endron is my admiral. Okay, but I want you to be a steward. And then we'll get a new admiral. Okay, no. Never mind. Um, because this guy can't be my admiral. You're going to be my steward. Serve me well, my friend. My dear uncle, I eagerly propose to formalize the ties that already binds us together by signing in an alliance between our realms. Very well, nephew. I will accept. I am a nice uncle. I can pardon my vassal. She is an adulterer. She is an adulterer. I think we'll leave it for now. I don't think we care. Um, that's something for the Faith of the Seven, who we, we care little for. We do not care about them. Okay, 70% of the way there. Let's go. Come on. Give me the duchy. Give me the duchy. We can do it. I feel like my light on my webcam keeps going on and off, you know, guys. Maybe I need to change the uh, some of the settings so it stops doing that. Right, Echo Hill has been lost because he's died. Let's go ahead and give this to... Let's see. Abo, you have a cool you have a cool helmet. I'm gonna give you this. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you've been excommunicated. They're still at it. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right, I can unpin you, I think. Um Yeah, I can unpin you. You've had children, but we won't be able to rename them because until we play as Wolfgang, which is unfortunate. I will promise we will rename them. When the, we get the opportunity. Okay, someone's in my royal court. Uh, no one's in my royal court. <laughs> what was that about? No idea. I'm going crazy. And there it is, lads. To the hands of Jacob. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case with you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Red Lake. Indeed. I could even argue you're the rightful lord of the high lordship of Red Front. All of Red Front will be mine. There we go. So how long before we can declare war? 21 months. Okay, in that case, we might be able to get a claim on Creek Hall as well. Let us try. Let us try. If we get lucky. I think we we can have two months. We can have two attempts at getting Creek Hall. This would be a big war. It would gain us a lot of territory. All we need to do is survive. Our health is poor and ailing. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I have artifacts. Solid blade. Minus two prowess. Get out of here. Get out of here. What a terrible artifact. <laughs> okay. Let's pray to the Lord of Light. He answered our prayers before. He will answer them again. This could be our biggest war yet in terms of gaining territory. Fascination discovered. We have discovered cranes. Very nice. Uh, let's see. What can we discover now? Royal Armory. 
Unlocks all late medieval era military buildings. Hmm, professional lances, heavy cavalry maintenance. What are we being exposed to? This, vassal limit. Yeah, we're, we'll do this then. It's only going to take four years. I like researching the one we get exposed to because I think overall it's uh, quicker, right? Keeper of the cells has been vacated. Oh, that might be why everything's... Um, we've got so much move. Ah, yeah. I've lost all of this. Okay, I need food tasters. I need architects. Let's go ahead and point out. I need a cupbearer. Uh, a court poet. Nah, no. Uh, a court bard. Nah. Court artificer. No. Uh, okay, we don't need anything else. We've got special ones here. Keeper of the cells we need. Yes. We don't have many good people for this vote. And then if we go to common. I need a court smith. Uh, we do need an antiquarian. So let's go ahead and recruit one of those. Caravan master, master, hall master, and hunt. Now we don't need it. Senish, senish, senish cue. <laughs> we'll get one of those. We'll get one of those. I uh, don't need a fall. And a sworn shield. We'll get a sworn shield. There we go. Our income's gone down a tiny little bit. But we still have a lot of gold coming in. I wish there were like natural successions to positions as, still, as well. That would be fun. Because I always forget to reassign positions. Alright, we're three quarters of the way, lads. There. Let's see if we get lucky. I believe in the Lord of Light. He will give us the Duchy of Craycall. He has not given us the Duchy of Craycall. Okay. How long do we have left? 12 months. That should be enough for one more attempt. I'm 74 now. Do no more than what is necessary. It's worked. Uh, it's not It's not good enough, though. It doesn't make my health uh, better. At last, King Ronald's entourage arrives at my gates. Ah! Hello, King Ronald. I have not forgotten that you left me to defend my lands alone. Even after I uh, won your war for you. Uh, visiting High Garden on his tour of the Iron Throne, the coffer wagon and litany of tax collectors suggest that we'd be poor for the visit. He's doing a tax tour, okay. As one of the most powerful vassals of the realm, which is little wonder he's come calling at my door. I am to host a luxurious dinner fit for a king. A chance to show Bloomfield hospitality and furnish his party with beds and entertainment. The only question is, do I open the gates and let him know? Of course, I am not petty. Welcome, my king, welcome. I have a grudge against you, but I am still loyal to the crown. My cooks have informed me that the food stores seem to be running quite low and a lot of my more expensive and exotic ingredients have long since run dry. It would take quite a small fortune to replenish the food stores and I feel my heart flutter nervously at the mere thought of buying but bread and butter. King Ronald may just dis be disappointed by our meager display this evening, but can I afford much else? We can afford it. We are the king of Bloomfield Hills. Uh, declare me regent. No. I pick my own regent. Let us see. Uh, we will sort by succession score. I'm going to go for Lord Quentin, my cousin, because he is selfless. He will be the new regent. Because my wife passed away, of course. Uh, can I just double check? Let's put you on fill coffers. I, I like gold. I like gold as much as the next man. Right, back to the grand tour. we got to please the king. Uh, we're actually one of his final stops. I hadn't thought much of it when I arranged for Armin to be by my side this evening. But as plates come and go, I find myself becoming more and more intrigued by the fine man. My keeper of cells. Oh, if only life were disinteresting back at the capital. Most days I lay around the court, growing weary and lazy. Here I am, not left wanting for good conversation. Would you welcome me as your courtier? Do you know what? No. <laughs> I don't want to annoy the king. I don't want to give him reason to take my lands from him. Um, a secret truth. Oh dear, okay, more of this, right. Imprison her. Nope, yep. disputed heritage. That's fine. I'm feasting with the king, lads. I'm feasting with the king. It is time for King Ronald, the Iron Throne to part, and I must say I feel I've been a magnanimous host. However, it seems that King Ronald did not believe that my hosting was enough. Oh, come on. And he has made a demand on me. He has presented me with a bill for all expensive pay during his trip, for many of the charges seem bogus, so I am obliged to pay. Ah, oh, he's pushing his luck. He's bloody pushing his luck, this king. He's very strong, though. I will submit. I am a wise man. There is no, there is no need to make an enemy with the king of the Iron Throne. That would be silly, especially right before we plan to go to war ourselves already. Uh, we have embraced the trials by combat tradition. 
Car crimes by characters that you cannot imprison and who aren't your lead may be settled by via single combat. Okay, okay. Very nice. I thought we already had that. Because we already did have a trial by combat. Uh, alliance has expired with the Tarlies. <gasps> Lucy was murdered! Oh, bloody hell. All my children are going. How many children do I have left now? Just Wolfgang. Oh dear. <laughs> Is Wolfgang the murderer? With the spirit of learning re reigning in the realm, scholars from all the region have been dwelling in the libraries of my domain. Uh, perhaps I could direct their energy into something fruitful. Oh, 1100 gold. I can't do that. That's too expensive. We get dusty libraries. Yeah, that's fine. Libraries are so much of a bother. I'm a commander, not a librarian. The whole my daughter Lucy's death has left in my heart remains. Clawed open each time I think of a foul killer and the justice that remains to be served. Day after day, the cruel logic of revenge dominates my thinking. Fueled each night in fitful dreams where I see Crispian and all of House Gaunt. Oh, we know who murdered her. Ooh. I will not start a feud, but what I will do is challenge him to a trial by combat. Can I not do that? Can I challenge him to a fight? Oh, it's non-lethal. Can I imprison him? Maybe I murder him. Ah. I can't imprison him. He's not my he's not my vassal. Lucy! I hope your father. I hope the other dynasty members will avenge you. I'm your father, of course. <laughs> right, 80% of the way there. After this, we're gonna declare war. Petition Leech. We won't do that. We won't do that. We're about to go to war. Please give me a duchy claim. He failed. Okay, he failed. Right. Nevertheless, we will go to war for the two claims we already have. Let us get detailed ledgers. And eh, that's kind of useless. Um, vassal tax contribution. Yeah, we'll get another 10%. That sounds nice. Sounds very nice. Right. There's a hunt, but it's too late. It's time we go to war to reach again. How long left? 47 days. Let's wait for the truce to expire. To the handsome Jacob, I've been corresponding with the Chancellor Lord Garmion, and I must say I've come to see you in a new light. What happened to your face? You have been burned. Ah, interesting. I didn't know uh, characters could have that. I know that um, Clegane can have it, but not others. Um, what am I looking for here? My truces. There we go. 35 days. And then we go to war once more, lads, against the Tyrells. They will not be able to stand up against us. And there we go. The truce has expired. Right. Do they have new allies? They do. House Ball. They're not very strong, though. We will still crush them. It is time to declare war once more. For the claim of the High Lordship of the Red Front and the High Lordship of Orchard Way. I may be old. My health may be poor and ailing. But I will not back down from a fight. We become nemesis. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. Uh, we can call allies to war. Let's call on our house member. We can't call on our house member, right? My half-sister from Yonwood, she's still alive. She's still alive. Bloody hell. She wants to join in the glory. Let's invite everyone. The Freys won't be joining us this time. No alliance there anymore. But we're still friends. We're still friends. Okay, we're going to raise everyone here. And I think um, the war objective is here. So we'll go for this first. And then we'll go towards the capital. Which I think might have moved. No, it hasn't moved. It's still in the same place. My dear brother, of course I should join in this war. I thought I should learn to fit the men of Yonwood. Excellent stuff, my sister. Right, all of the allies are joining us. One final war before my body gives way. I've said it before. <laughs> but I think this is our final war. My body, my health is not looking good. I think we're nearing our final days now. Look at this, four days to siege. I am still a very good siege artist, though. Look at the Blitzkrieg. Oh, 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 there we go. The Germans learned everything they did from me. Look at this, 12 days. Not everything, though. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I just realized the extent of what I just said. <laughs> I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> uh, my master arms. No, we're not a nursery. Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, this is way too fast. It's bloody beautiful. I love it. I love it. Six days. <laughs> oh, the Tyrells are cowards. They're cowards. Look at them. They won't even engage me. They know it's a lost cause already. We're taking the entire war target. The Blitzkrieg of the Eight Kingdoms, exactly. Never has there been a greater army at sieging the mine. 
Oh, it's bloody insane, isn't it? It's, it's, it's beautiful. Just look how much we've sieged already. <laughs> Just absolutely stomping out the war target. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Six days and then we're going to go for that capital as well. There we go. Artifacts to sell. Let's go this side and we'll follow the road up, I guess, to the to the capital. To Coxcomb. What a name. What a name. Oh, they're fighting our allies. Who is fighting here? Um, Costin. How so forth is leading the armies. I think they're going to lose. No, they're winning with a red bar. Holy crap. They're outnumbered and they're going to win. Very nice. Very nice. Excommunicated again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Excommunication is still having think 50% war score. Bloody hell. 100% war score. Look at that. To the miserable Jacob. Damn your seventh grandfather. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to the bloodshed, I will comply with your demand. So be it. So be it. Now let's disband the men once more. We have grown the kingdom even greater. House Bloomfield is now bigger than the Reach. <laughs> okay, right. We're going for Crate Call. Hopefully, we can get a duchy claim on that. And um, then we'll continue claiming some more. Too many duchies held. Ah, yeah. We need to give these away now, don't we? Um, House Fossaway. I will give you back your title. Hmm. Orchard Way. Yeah, we, there we go. Hopefully, there we go. He likes me again now. Very nice. And then up here. House Eastermont. I will give you back the duchy of the Red Front. And he likes me now, too. You will now serve House Bloomfield. The Tyrells. The time has come to an end. The time has come to an end. I can lawfully imprison you. Ah, we chose to forgive you, though. I'm just, just going to pardon you. It's fine. Prisoners can be ransomed. Um. Oh. Do you know what? Mass ransom. Yes. There we go. That will sort that out. That will sort it out. That will sort that out. Okay, we're waiting... For fabrications and we got another five year truce will we survive to the next truce <laughs> 75 will be 80 oh i don't know it's gonna be hard um further of a lady we'll destroy this yeah we'll destroy this as well there we go we got plenty of artifacts to destroy loads of ransoms coming through very nice very nice we got some more prisoners to ransom let's send out another wave of requests. Paid gold. There we go. Look at this. It's all flowing in. It won't be long before the reach is extinct. Won't be long at all. We can ransom even more. Okay, let's keep ransoming. Uh, what's this? My steward died of old age. Oh dear. Um, you're my admiral. Endron, you're going to become a steward. And let's see. We need a new admiral. Lord Richard, you can become the admiral. There we go. Not once have we shortened a truce, by the way, guys. That's insanely unlucky, or it's just not possible in this mod. Um, could be either one. Right, let's ransom you. Okay, one more character left to ransom. There we go. Uh, we didn't get a claim on the duchy. Useless. Absolutely useless. Uh, okay, yeah, pay homage. Very nice. Welcome, welcome. Do any of you guys have gold? You have gold. Very well. Why, why, why is it not working? I will banish you. You will join the, the Night's Watch. Can you banish children to the war? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, you can, surely, because uh, what's his name? Was serving in the Night's Watch. And he was a child. Let us banish all of these. We shall claim all of their gold. Another four gold there as well. You will join the Night's Watch. And serve the realm. And keep us safe. If I were your king, I would be highly interested in knowing what your end goal was, and I would frequently inquire about your health. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been loyal to the Baratheons. I think my loyalty isn't in question, at least. Osric Stark. That was a great character. I remember him. I do remember him. Great character. Um, I think, I think our goal is to literally just... You know, the Tyrells are our only enemy, really. We don't have a crawl of Dawn. <laughs> why the blood? <laughs> why? Why? Okay, we're not taking these parts of the reach, right, guys? <laughs> uh, that th Those parts don't count. <laughs> they're, they're gone. Uh, this counts, I guess. This counts. This counts. And we will take the arbor as one of the final ones. <laughs> I'm not going all the way over here to take the reach. Bloody hell. That seems stupid. <laughs> 
If they want to run to the other side of the world in order to survive, then they can. They can. Oh dear. Right, how long left on this? Okay. The truce. 397. When the fifth moon has risen. That is what we're waiting for now. Hopefully we do not die. The wilderness is calling out to me. It's been too long since I last hunted out there in the hills of High Garden. There are plenty of fiery lynxes. One of those would do quite well on the dinner table. We could get a new pet dog. Let us do that. And we will call him. Andrew. After the great Andrew Baratheon. Son to Stannis. What a great name. What a great name. We will honor him. Uh, grand weddings. We're not going to grand weddings. We're waiting for this. Your legacy is suspicious. It will be fabled if it isn't already. And lesser things have toppled kingdoms. Yeah, but I have proven time and time again that I am loyal to the king. There is a long proven history there. Uh, though I doubted at first, I am becoming convinced through the gossip of court that Lord Crispian wants my head. All because of a cuckolding. All of Bloomfield is gamed him by their association to me. And his hatred has seeped from my head down throughout his entire worthless family. We don't care for Lord Crispian. Get out of here. I'm a, I'm a, if anyone should be a feud with me, it should be the Tyrells. They are our big enemies here. Uh, my trusted stallion Moonsinger is getting old. Oh, we're going on to the fourth generation of a uh, war horse now. Let us breed him with another strong horse. I must keep my war horse. Do my war horse get given to my heirs? Hmm. My beloved stallion Moonsinger has passed away. But he leaves a strong fowl behind. I can already see his personality in the young one. My friend is still with me in a sense. Rest easy, Moonsinger. He will be missed. What shall we call his child? I think Yindros, the Lassine God of the Twilight. Sounds cool. Let's go with this. Here we go with this. More excommunication. Nothing changes with the High Sept. <laughs> Uh, this is the part of Crusader Kings. This is why I don't play super long playthroughs. Because it gets to a point where you're kind of just waiting. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've already had such a great story. The rise to the, the kingdom of Bloomfield. But I want to finish it off. We must finish off the Tyrells. There is a grudge there. It's a shame that we can't do an invasion for Kingdom Cassus Belly. But those don't exist in this mod. But let's see. We train. We increase our prowess by one. At 76, we still have 36 prowess. Bloody insane stuff. Uh, Wolfgang. How's 12? Is he even my son? I don't know. Those are questions that will be asked when we have more time to worry about such things. Come on, give me the duchy. I'm out of water now as well. Let's put it over there. Okay, uh, no duchy. Bloody hell, we're going on this streak again, are we? Looks like it. A face from long ago. I settle into my bed, as snug and comfortable as a babe betwixt its mother's breasts. But right as my heavy eyes at last close for some rest, I shoot up in my bed as I see a figure sit down beside me. It's my dear friend Harris. To my horror, it is none other than my deceased friend Harris. He callously cackles at me as I shriek in horror. Come now, Jacob. Is that a way to greet an old friend? I come to you with a warning. You are the reason that Engred Newbridge... Is now in the seven heavens. You must repent for what you have done. I learned the hard way. But every sin we commit incurs a debt to the seven who are one, my friend. And he is not forgiving of his debtors. I do not care. Screw the seven. I follow the Lord of Light. It is clearly a hallucination. I do not care. Get out of here, Harris. You're already dead. I will not be tricked by the dead. Grand Tournament, no. We're waiting to go to war. While in the market, I come upon a vendor who claims to be selling off from, from far away. No, it's a scam. Okay, we have so much gold now. Now is the time to recruit a new type of units. And we will go. We only have one choice. The Armoured Horseman. Very expensive. But, oh my bloody hell. If we max these out. <laughs> they're so expensive. 350. Uh, we need to station them. Oh, we have nowhere to station them. Once we get the next Dynasty Legacy. Uh, that's going to be a while. At least uh, we'll get some toughness for them as well. From a lord to a duke to a king indeed. The legacy has been great. While resting at a tavern, a beautiful sound fills my ears. A bard is playing a wood harp for patrons of the tavern. Yeah, let's sing along. Why not? We can have some fun. We can have some fun. Let's pay. Yep, yeah, I'll let you pay for uh, for the prisoner. Taran has come to my keep seeking a place to stay for a short while. I haven't had this event a lot, have I? Sure, any maester is welcome in my halls. 
the great Taran. Whilst walking the corridors of my cube today, I ran into my guest Taran and began speaking with him. During our conversation, I noticed that he had a link, a, a link of black iron on his chain. I brought this up to him and we began talking at length about ravenry. Ah, truly illuminating conversation. Taran has come before me before he returns to his journey, thanking, thanking me profusely for my generosity and hospitality. He further stated that he could be sure to tell his new lord and his colleagues at the Citadel of the breadth and depth of my scholarly insights. I have left a good impression. We gain more piety, more prestige, and general opinion. Very nice. We are very well respected. Even more so than the Tyrells at this point. My sister has died of old age. Is that... Is, was she the one of the Yonwood? I think she was. She has finally passed away. Oh dear. I, I cannot give you money. I'm, I'm afraid I'm saving for new army. New men at arms. We need them. Uh, I can pa pardon you for fornification. Yeah, sure. It's fine. It's fine. We're not calling the duchy claims. Come on, give me duchy claims. The sky is virtually cloud free as I spent the afternoon in the outskirts of High Garden. On the way back to the holding, I noticed a group of travelers making their way barely outside the city limits. When I look closer, I realize the leader of the group is none other than Lady Meredith and her entourage. Casually studying their movement, I instinctively look up when a swarm of riders rapidly approach the peaceful group. As the riders get closer, they start to raise their weapons. The travelers are clearly about to be assaulted in my land, no less. It is my duty to intervene. We will put a stop to this. Uh, pay homage. Yes, 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 yes. Very well. Oh, my Lord Quentin has become injured. My knight. My cousin. The bandits don't know what hit him. I led our finest warriors into the battle outside High Garden, And we cut through the group like butter on a hot summer's day. Lady Meredith watches us closely. As we clean up the scoundrels and softens a bit, as it is clear that we were friendly. When the assailants are finally sent on the run, I circle back towards Meredith, who now seems more comfortable with our presence. My friend, thank you for assisting us in a time of need. The land is safe once more. I increase my marshal by one. Very nice. We have 25 marshal now. Uh, Lord Gerald has come to give me gold. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to petition Leech. That's fine. We have nothing to petition him for. Uh, where's the army? Increase the cavalry. The armoured horsemen. Greetings, my handsome leech. Lord Albo. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for your gifts. Reflections of cleverness, eh? I stare at the blank parchment between my quill. The poetry usually comes easy to me, but today I cannot make the words come. I lean back and look to the ceiling, and I wonder how the poets of the past mastered their wit. My mind cast a picture of Land the Cleaver while the Maesters dispute his existence, saying he is nothing but a figure of myth and legend. There was a man who must have mastered his wit, though not known to be a poet. Tricking the Castellies out of one of the greatest seats in the land must be one of the most cunning seat feats committed in Westeros. What could I learn from such a tale? Yeah, the fort shall inspire my poetry. There we go. <coughs> Let's try that. Right. We'll do one more fabrication. And then I think we're, we'll leave the stream there today. Because we've been streaming for... How long now? Is that four hours? Three hours. Three hours. But the voice is, is struggling a little. <clears throat> Lord Raymond. Welcome, welcome. Um, sure, sure, sure. Let us see if we can get one final claim at least. To a sensible Jacob. Maynard Ashford is dear to me. Would you let him go in return for this offer? I shall. I shall. As long as you can pay. I can change your contract as well. More taxes, please, my friend. More taxes. And I, oh, I can't demand payment because I used a hook. <laughs> Damn it. It's fine. More taxes pays off in the long run. Okay, give me the duchy. Lord of Light, if you hear me, please. He has failed. Right. I think we're going to call it there for a day, lads. I think we're going to call it there. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next stream because I feel like this playthrough is kind of over. We're at the point now where we're, we're literally just sat here for hours waiting for fabrications. You know, the, the, the Tyrells are pretty much defeated. They only have 12,000. We have destroyed them many and many a times on the battlefield. And I have no aspirations of getting the Westerlands or Dawn or Stormlands. I have no core with them. We're loyal to the crown. So I think that might be a good place to leave it. I'll sleep on it. I'll see how I feel when I wake up. But we, we might swap to a different series. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you next time.